shit, let's do this. So last time, I don't actually remember too much, because uh, my brain has been on other stuff, but you basically um, ended up exploring the rest of, uh, or a good chunk rest of the top area of the uh, the first level of the ship. The rooms that you were, you were in with the doppelgangers, uh, the elves that turned, or the, the people there turned into be doppelgangers that just invaded the ship, um, were about to put up a fight, but they were like, hey, Six has um, got radiation poisoning and can't talk, so uh, we don't want you here because you'll just infect us, and so that's how I got out of that. But you did have a couple other encounters with various things, uh, including you finally found an android in a great moment where Joey was like, when are we going to find a freaking android? Oh, there he is. <laughs> It's gonna um, be an android what, behind this corner. Yeah, right. Yeah. There's an android right behind me, yeah. isn't there? <laughs> he, he he just was pretending to be injured and he put up a fight just to for whatever reason and then boom or six had the smartest idea to, to throw make him smell like cat nip so it would attract the uh, displacer beasts in the other room and that was so brilliant if you didn't take inspiration for that I forget if I mentioned it take inspiration uh, perfect stuff death by kitty <laughs> you ended up um, taking the east uh, um, tube down to the next level as you had completed one of the tasks which was uh, uh, eliminate the uh, the, the myconid colonies, or the mushroom veggie pigment colonies. And we have the irradiated um, radiate items, but we can't get to the lab to turn it in. So. This is true, yes. Yeah. You have not found a yellow key yet, and the labs are in a yellow key. You do have, if I recall, a, a violet key, which is how you got to this room, a blue key, and I think you found a red key? Um, should be keep track of those, because if you if you didn't write it down, I'm going to say that you dropped it somewhere. No, I, I wrote it down, don't worry. Fair enough. Okay. But with that, you, you had gone down, you started um, messing with some shriekers that were growing, and as soon as you did that, there were at least two giant things that came out of another room, and you're like, <laughs> let's let's go back upstairs. Um, you went up to the first floor again, managed to take a proper long rest, um, did not level up, and then you decided to pick one of the other elevators to go down, one of the drop tubes to go down. With that, we will go back to spaceship level one to see which one, you, which level you wanted to go down. Um, oh. don't you mean Metal Fortress level one? <laughs> well, oh. the Metal Fortress is how you say spaceship in. Oh, time. okay, it's, it's a different language. Gotcha. <laughs> we went down to one, and there was a bunch of giant, like giants and fucking. Yeah, some oh, giants. Oh yeah, just really out. gross things. Uh, yeah, Jack's mad. And you decided to come back up here, and you found a room just to just to um, uh, rest in. So you have uh, the ability to go through to any of the other um, any of the other uh, drop tubes. Uh, you can still explore around if you wish. Yeah, you want to fight through uh, those giants. It looks like it didn't uh, save the rooms that you went in. So let me. Uh, to that last time. We, uh, yeah, it keeps doing that. Yeah, it, it gets most of it, but like, we'll, we'll, uh, I can remember which ones you did. Yeah, it's right here. Because it moved all the, it keeps, it remembers all the tokens. But it didn't remember. He complained so much. The other stuff. Probably. Uh, this is still an alpha, so it's okay. And every two weeks, these assholes keep sending us a bunch of stuff <laughs> that we can't even deal with. <laughs> Wanna, uh, I actually want to say two things about the actual interface here. Um, they have the ability to multi-select things with the select tool, uh, or with shift and click, click, click. So if you have a bunch of uh, things you summon, I don't think nobody here is a druid, so it probably won't come up. You are able to multi-select it. And if you are selected onto another tool, if you hold down space bar, it's, it, while you're holding it down, it, it's the grab tool, so you'll be able to just move the map around. So those are the updates to the maps interface. So, um, I don't think you guys are actually on this map at the moment, but you all headed, you were down on the right side over here, and you probably just found an empty room. Maybe you went back to the, uh, the cafeteria. We'll say you went back to the cafeteria to take a long rest. 
So wanna, you want to take care of those giants? See if we can get then get down to the garden. I'll ask you a question. I'll answer your question with another question. Yes. Does a one-legged duck swim in a circle? That's a yes to me. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Now, now, just just remind remember that we don't actually have to fight them. Uh, the uh, the little ball thing didn't actually tell us anything about those. Uh, we can always just try to sneak around them. And we can try one of the other tubes. I think I mean, this I... is the only tube that's working out there, asshole. It's the only one we've tried. Oh, you appear to be sleeping! Alfie old... comes down as you're taking your long rest. Not anymore. You appear to be having trouble sleeping! Why have you come back up here? I thought you were on the next level. Someone Did you want was... to finish the tasks for me? Someone was too sleepy and needed more spell slots, so we came back up. Spell slots? That sounds like voodoo. Oh, so I know nothing about that. I'm only nope. versed in science. Okay. <laughs> Even I know what voodoo is, and I live on a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> well... Anyway, as you've taken your first steps into the observation deck, um, when you go back down there, I would like to ask you to do a couple of other tasks. Uh, again, I can reward you with various thing ups and rewards and and um, not voodoo things. Like what exactly? Well, you know how you were supposed to find several androids on this level? I don't think they exist. I, I think you did. Oh, I, I, I saw a monitor of the one that you you yeah. sent into the cat room. Oh. Oh, I don't know what and you I don't know what you mean. <laughs> you're certain that the others are on this floor? Well, there's several that are likely on this floor. Yes, uh, some of them probably behind those yellow doors. I like how you use the word likely and probably when you have certainty about this. Well, here's the thing. They're mobile. They have feet. We'll just hand over a yellow key card and we'll be on our way. Um, I don't have one that I can dispense. However, I could probably open the door for you, um, if you ask nicely. Or I could probably identify where one is and go and grab it. I like working for my meals. Can you point us in the direction of a yellow key card? Sure, I will get that in my database in just a moment. Uh, however database for that in just a moment, but I did want to tell you about the uh, the additional tasks I had on the next level, um, if you wanted to just go back down there. So, first off, as I was saying, the androids up here, I'd like you to look for more androids in that level, but I'd like them to be in different rooms. It feels a bit cheaty to just find a bunch of androids in one room, and I kind of want you to do it in different rooms. What? Wait, hold on a second. Pump the brakes. You don't want us to complete a task for you expediently and efficiently. I thought I thought you were I thought you were uh, uh, an efficient right, person. Not quick. Oh goodness. To be fair, you can still find any three androids, any additional androids on this level. But in the next level. I want to make sure that they are different enough. I am going to ask you a very honest question. In your vernacular, are you familiar with the term codpiece? The term codpiece? No! Okay. Well, in my tongue, it means a reliable and dependable person who is in no way obtrusive to the task at hand. I award you with the greatest honor I can bestow upon my people that you are the biggest codpiece I've ever met. Wow, I would feel grateful if I had emotion. Yes, wear it with pride, friend. <clears throat> <laughs> Alright, so what if we convince one of the androids up here to go downstairs and we find that one when we go downstairs, does that one count? It could be the same android, but like... in different rooms. That what if, feels okay, like cheating, I have a but... question here, Alfie. What if 
androids, they're like constructs, right? So yeah. what if the android has its arm replaced and then eventually it has a leg replaced and then its other leg and then its torso and then its head? Would it still be the same android or would it be a totally different android? Can we put that other android hmm. into a different room and would it count? Hmm. Let me think about this. He starts pacing. Uh. Oh, he's just going around I, I, there. I like, I like lean over to six and I'm like, did you just whip out the ship of Theseus on him? I don't know if he could. I don't know if he could compute. He that. may be in a, <laughs> a process loop for the next hundred thousand years. <laughs> you, I think you broke him, six. I think you broke him. <laughs> this is kind well, of he loops around you. He just loops around you, just seemingly infinitely. Oh, I'm, I'm not surprised you know what sarcasm was, Ariel. What? Uh, of course I do. I... Done! I'm not... Oh, damn. I have the answer! 42. Brilliant. I... I Point suppose to... my simple mind cannot comprehend this. Yes! We did... I agree! We did have a long oh, rest. Right? Sorry. As... Uh, yes, you guys can all take a proper long rest. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, did that not earlier, so go ahead. As only the biggest cod piece I've ever met is able to do, of course. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, pursuant to the android finding, I will say that if you are able to convince the android to go to a lower level, I will consider that extra information, and we can use it to satisfy either this level's tasks or the next level's tasks in any way you seem fit. So, but I have a second task as well. I need you to mm, trim the hedges, so to speak. Are you familiar with hedges? Do you want us to kill more stuff? Um, yes, but the stuff is plants. Ugh. Say no more. Say no more. You don't mean the screaming ones, do you? Oh, uh, well, I mean, some of them seem to scream, but all of the plants near each of the drop tubes on the next level are just being invaded by invasive plant species. That won't do. They need to stay in their, uh, their garden level and not come up to the observation level. They are to be seen and not dealt with. So if you could, well, exterminate them, I can reward you. Yes. Well, one of those things that you have, or something similar, and points to, well, points, but uh, indicates towards one of the ray guns that you found. Or one of those things, as he indicates towards one of the grenades that you had found, Rhubarb. Not as cool as power armor. How about we find those well, remaining still, androids? We can get you can that still get the it. power armor. You just have to finish the tasks up here. You now, you wanted that yellow card. Let me find where you can find a yellow card. Talk amongst yourselves as I actually have to look. Oh, oh here it is behind one of the yellow doors. <laughs> He's like, oh, look, behind your ear, Lyrio. <laughs> I was seriously thinking of that. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. I like Where that. Where can we find one? Turns around, one's glued to the back of his coat. <laughs> <laughs> that's forever. Ah, it's... Uh, yes. I've located one. I need to open up the map so I get the right number. It's back at the medic station. What? You know what a medic is? Uh, yes, because they I am a one of those. Medicine. That's, uh, well, it's where we first met. Just before where we first met, there was a medical installation. And in the main area there, you could find a yellow card. Oh, we walked right by it. How embarrassing. So he essentially is pointing to this area up here. Yep. I see it on the map, and I feel like an idiot. If it was a snake, it would have bit us. <laughs> I do remember examining those rooms. Correct. He well, he's, he's right. actually talking about the lobby area that's outside the rooms. Oh, we didn't. Um, we didn't check it there, did we? No. 
No, we did not. <laughs> oh, oh no! It is. It isn't one of the. It isn't one of those two rooms you did. But you did glance. You didn't do a strong check. Oh come on, Mar. Oh, c- come I, on! I assume, come on, Mar. I'm sorry. It gave me a DC, and I can only assume that you missed it. <laughs> oh. So we'll see. I'm sorry. You're gonna look around. You're gonna look hard. Apparently, if you just say you're looking around, that means you're looking hard. That's the way you want to play. You want everything brought to you in a silver platter. Yeah, if you look at a room. Yeah, well, what does the D and D C stand for? We, we, we have spent <laughs> almost a month, Mark, doing this campaign, and this is something we could have had on day two or day Possibly like session one. one. Well, hey, <laughs> honestly, on day one, you could have probably had a violet card if you, you know, in in. Uh, examined the body you found uh, from the radiated room, the one that you literally pulled out and that took we a took bow the from. Off of. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> well, it's, uh... I mean, Mark. To be fair, to be fair, Mark did say he specified that if we didn't specify that we were going to search thoroughly, that mm-hmm. he wasn't going to hand it. He de- <laughs> uh, defending your honor, ma- ma DM. Yeah, so let's uh, let's. Let's see if we can find these androids. That power armor right. will probably be useful yeah, for uh, check them out. So, so to Let's summarize what he has, the Let's also get power the armor. Good. Uh, we can also get the card so we can get rid of the uh, the stuff that's going click. So yes, you have one task left up here, which is to find two more androids on this on this level, and then he is giving you two tasks for the next level, which is to clear the vegetation near each of the pods, or each of the tubes, as well as find three androids, or three rooms with three androids in them, each with an android in them. We also haven't turned in the radiated items. Yes, that is the last thing that you need to do, but you need to get the yellow card, but you know where to go now. Right near my genitals, don't worry. Can I see that? (laughs) No, no. Scanning! Oh, oh, invasive. (laughs) Well, I have to process these images. (laughs) (laughs) I hope you never wanted kids. (laughs) They're like raisins down there. (laughs) Um, All right. So, yeah, just uh, so now the day is yours. Um, You are currently back in the kitchen area of the and the cafeteria. Um, so if you'd like to know what this, what else, is, what's still in this room, I can tell you that. But you're otherwise free to do what you want. Do you guys want to find the androids, or you want to go down to lower levels? Uh, we finish here. That's my vote. See what we could um, find. I think these yellow rooms where we have to dispose of the items or whatever, so we can go there. Yeah. And it's not that far. Yep. So let's go over there. Look, I can move them all. Whee! <laughs> Alright, so you're making a thing there, and luckily I'm not doing uh, wandering monsters at the moment. Alright, so anybody looking for that uh, yellow card, go ahead and give me an investigation check with advantage, because you were told it's going to be here. 20. 20, okay. 27. Alright, uh, the, with that, Saul, you find it first. <laughs> Lyriel, you stand in the even, corner. I'm not, I'm not even I rolled two sevens. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't find it yet. Hmm. Mm, must be somewhere else entirely. <laughs> Picks up chair, lifts it, turns it over to look underneath it. <laughs> oh. So you find, um, you find the yellow key card in one of the exam rooms, and Joey, I'd like you to roll a d100. Oh, Any three. 93. When you're looking around, you don't find a yellow card, but you find a prosthetic limb with magnetic attachments.
Does it like attach to my my axe? Is this magnetic? I mean, your if you got metal on your axe, it probably would. Yeah. <laughs> Might not stay in there very hard. It's not like super, you know, strong magnets, but like, eh, eh, good. But they're magnets from space. Oh, one more thing. What about that rectangular screened device I found? Yes, that's right. You wanted to identify that. Yeah, we had a long rest. So. Uh, that I believe was what room did you find that in? I probably told you what room it was. I mean, I just have handheld device here. Uh, I think it was the. Uh, just to the bottom, um, uh, southwest of the room that we're in, with the red door. Right. Grab that. It was like a bedroom, just, room, and with a living room and stuff. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Uh, the right thing. Um. Well, that's where you found the other stuff. I think it was a. Yes, okay, so you found a robot controller. We'll say during the long rest you consulted with um, Alfie about what the hell that thing is. So a robot controller, which is an item that you can add, um, is specifically... Robot controller... Boop. A small handheld device features glass pane with a glowing display that responds to your touch. It's an iPhone. Um, powered by an energy cell, which I think you you uh, yeah, found I, I, one I in there. One. It's got yeah, you put one in. It's got basically three charges, uh, and this lets you to control one construct of your choice within sixty feet of you. Must succeed on a wisdom save or be charmed for a minute. And while charmed, it obeys your commands. You can also use it to disrupt a uh, to basically in, try to incapacitate a construct, and uh, or you can replace an energy cell. You have a robot remote. They try it on LP. He's not around. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna let you, you know, cheese your way through that. <laughs> okay, well, you have that. You have a yellow key card now. Who has it? What would you like to do? Saul? Saul? Uh, yeah, I've got it. Okay. Um, take it over here and, uh, space through the wall. And, uh, it's pretty close, so I'll assume that this yellow door goes to the same area. Yep, let's erase this out. Boop. Twenty-four, let me make sure. Yep, so this one... Uh, looks to be uh, special research facilities for biological, biochemical, and chemical projects related to cosmic life forms. <laughs> Nerds. You basically found the science lab. There's a picture of Bill Nye, but like an alien Bill Nye. Bill Got, Nye like, from alien antenna. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. Uh, Degrassi with green skin. There are a few um, empty... There are a few cages that look like they could have held small animals, uh, but most of them are either empty or containing bones. Skeletons of Skelefun. No, nothing? Nothing from anybody? I, I, I about Alfie really... pops down and slaps you in the face. No! <laughs> <laughs> Not every day you get slapped by a cod piece. Is this a room we need to dispose of these, these items? Yeah, you can pretty much just leave it in here. Yeah. Anything of interest be, uh, beyond that? Um, in this room, it doesn't look like it. Excuse me, it doesn't look like it. Goodbye, glowing shard of whatever. I'll miss you. You move it from where your guy encounter is this whole time, it's just been clicking. And just to make sure we don't miss anything, I'm going to open the other two doors in here. Okay. Um, the door to the north is very similar to the room that you're in. The door to the uh, east... Boop, 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 boop. 
is a little different. Uh, this looks like it was a chemical store. The one on the right is a chemical storage area. That looks interesting. Uh, I'm going to investigate for anything even more interesting. Roll an invest investigation check. Don't roll a one. 14. Okay. You find a couple things. You find some uh, vials uh, doing a little bit of testing that you can tell are acidic. So you find three vials of acid. One, two, three. You find something that has a flame symbol in the front, and you identify this as a flask of alchemical fire. And you find a jar of uh, that has a picture of a symbol of a nose on it, with some powder in it. Also, oh, a like a big like red like um, triangle on it that looks like it's a, a warning of some kind. Uh, most of these I already have, but I will collect them anyway. Mark down that you found a jar of dust in room 24C. You can identify that whenever you wish. You have an hour to do. The door to the north you remembered had some horrible, like, mold in it, and you're like, wait a second, if uh, Rhubarb had stayed in there any longer, he probably would have been affected by it. Oh, yes, yeah, good. The, the thin door to the north, the one on the, the right. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Do we know the androids? Actually, no, that isn't. No, you're actually never mind. Go ahead. Do, do we know the androids are in yellow rooms? Nope. Um, they might be, as those are the majority of rooms you have not explored. Oh, I found you. You guys were in, uh, your old tokens were in one of the covered up rooms. <laughs> I was like, where are your old tokens? I couldn't find them. Uh, get rid of those. Clones! <laughs> It's, it's it's the lyrial that was here from uh past from the past. Yeah, no, the one that everybody recognizes. They're the fungal ones from Voyager. Oh man, time travel episode. <laughs> time for me to slam my head in a car door for a bit, just to know how it feels. What's a car? What's a door? <sighs> As you are waiting around in this room, Alfie has popped down and is ex examining these um, irradiated objects and items that you had brought back. These are... What's the word? <laughs> um, these are acceptable. I will consider this to be the final task complete. Thank you for your hard work. A robot will be momentarily here to bring you a suit of powered armor. Oh, final task. Good day. See you down the lower level. Do we need to find more androids? <laughs> Guess not. Oh, no, that's right. You did. Never mind. That was oh, the second no, thing no takey backies. I had already marked it uh, for some reason because you because you had everything. Um, well, we I'm found sorry. No, the power armor. By the power armor, I mean a belt. He'll bring that soon. Bye. Soon a uh, android does come up into the room. Hey, we found door. another not android. No, I'm sorry, not an android. It is a it is a worker robot. It's specifically oh, not an android. Yeah. <laughs> he holds pretty, a pretty belt. Pretty soon, if you make more boots, a... we're gonna start holding you to it. Hey. <laughs> to be fair, I've been drinking a beer, and it's a large can, so. <laughs> to be fair, Are you drinking and DMing right shouldn't. now, Mark? That's the only how way I can handle all of you. How else am I supposed to? <laughs> this, this is how he gets candid. <laughs> I, I, I've DM'd you guys for years sober. <laughs> how? Yeah. How have you done that? that? Now you know the problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, could it be solved if I just that, drink? Uh, jo Joey D &D is and just a and a. built different. <laughs> <laughs> D and D and A and A. <laughs> anyway, you are visited by a three ghosts. Um, three ghosts. Uh, you are visited <laughs> by the a worker robot that comes up and is holding a belt up, and he goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." 
Yeah. Holding the belt out. Who, who wants oh, the yes. anti-gravity belt? Yeah, look good on Lyriel. He starts breaking over to Lyriel, and he starts rolling over to you, and he accidentally presses the thing on, and he gets whoop, thrown into the ceiling. Yeah! Crap. And he presses it again, and he falls, turns it off and falls to the ground and hits the ground. Oh. Uh, and he hands you the belt and just slowly rolls out, like knocks into the doorway as he goes out, like like he's just disoriented and just leaves. You now have an anti-gravity belt. You can get this item uh, added to your inventory. Um, it is powered by an energy cell. We'll say that it has a full one in there, and it has ten charges. With the activating the belt as a bonus action, you can expend any number of charges to activate it. The belt remains active for one minute per charge, and is a bonus action to deactivate it. When it's activated, and it's a bonus action, you can basically cast. You can basically levitate up or down twenty feet. Oh, while it's active, so. L luckily, that was a cutscene, so we're not down to nine. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and uh, you can replace it when it's down. So go ahead and add that to your inventory, and you're good. Is that coming to me? Yep. Yep. Put it in my note. Or where's the... You can literally add it to your inventory. Hey, I'm not sure how, how much use it's going to be for the one that can fly. What's it called? Anti-gravity belt. That means it wants to, you know, bring down ant gravity. <sighs> hey, cool. I got one. Okay. You try, it takes you a while to kind of like fit it around your muscly waist. I shouldn't eat as many cheeseburgers as usual. <laughs> yes, that's true. You you can has a cheeseburger, good. I like bees charger, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. With that, uh, you can continue. There's a couple more doors that you can explore, um, or yellow ones. There, there are a couple more yellow doors on this floor. Um... Or you can just head on down. It's up to you. I'm good with either way. I kind of want to just move the adventure along. but Yeah. It's a dungeon run. The adventure is what you find. Yep. But I mean, the 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 power armor, power which armor. Alfie clearly foreshadowed to, might be very useful fighting those big, nasty things down there. Or you'll look like Master Chief. It'll be cool. Master Chef, yes. Lordest of the Lord, Chef. Lords. Right. No. Let's see. Take the Take the okay, Rhubarb, you go up to the uh, the top door and nothing happens. Saul, Saul uh, has the key. <laughs> Saul goes by. Bloop. Yeah, let's say you're going to go we'll to the Watch there in, in, an, uh, in a closet that we end up not looking at. <laughs> yeah, it's like this one little area up here. This top area has um, a has um, the four by four area is the pretty much the same as where you were. Uh, no, nothing too much of interest in there. The next area over there, the top right, has um, oh, it actually has an android. I missed it on the map. Ah. <laughs> There's no Android here. Yeah, I, I, I tried to make sure I put everything on the map, and I missed this one. So, he, yeah. he, he pops up. Hello. Oh, two that? for two. What's? Hello, everybody. I'm I'm the worker bot. I'm scientist bot. Well, that's not my, that's what I call myself. But I mean, I, I, you're a robot. You Why do you have a lisp? <laughs> um, it's how they program me. They programmed you to get stuff. Okay, into the look, I was a sex bot, and I was owned by the person who worked in this lab, but he taught me everything he knew, and so he programmed me with his voice. Uh. <laughs> oh, too much information. <laughs> yeah, that's too much information. Are you sure there's not, like, residue in the back of your throat keeping so, you from so it's like, it's, properly? Or, uh, so is your quest that we have to, um, 
interface with you. Um, uh, no, 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 but I no. hope not. <laughs> oh, good. We're, we're we're compatible. Compatible. I think that's enough. <laughs> it was like trying to, you know, put in the USB port. You just got to turn it upside down and right side up, and it doesn't work. <sighs> Goes back to just <laughs> working one at sex bot never used. <laughs> <laughs> Alfie, Charles we found Dickens the second one. He was, <laughs> he was right next to you. <laughs> okay, well, we don't care. We just have to see you, and that's apparently enough. Bye. Yeah, close wait, 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 wait. You have oh. a yellow key card? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't. This guy does. Oh. Well, I guess you would have to, to, to get in here. Um, uh, are you researchers? Are we, are we researchers? Yes, yes, we are yeah, Yes. Make a uh, persuasion or deception check, because he already believes you, but, you know, it's whichever I'm a chemist. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's very science-y. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead and make a persuasion check, then, please, Saul. He loves science. Oh, oh, wait, I know you're kind. You're the alchemist. You're trying to turn things into gold, like metal into gold. You can't do but, that. You can only do chemical things with the proper chemically balanced equation. <sighs> technically, I started out as a brewmaster trying to make beer, but apparently acid thinking? isn't a very good base. No, because it's, it's acid, not a base. <laughs> okay, so I'll take the, take the chemistry pun. Take a um, inspiration. You get one. <laughs> Alco alcohol is always the base for a solution. <laughs> I, I uh, hate said only one. Don't luck. press your luck. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, um, uh, well, I was, I was gonna. You know what? No, you know what? These are my inventions, and I'm not gonna share them with anybody. They are patented. Good day, sir. And closes the door. All right, give me the damn card key. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to him. Are you, why, why would you want to? I need to get that damn robot out here so we can get the damn robots together for Alfie, or did we just need to talk to it? Like, oh, we, we fed the other one to cats. Yeah, the other one's yeah. gone. He's not coming back. Yeah, we uh, just interacted with him. Good enough. Good enough? Okay. But I don't want to interact with a sex bot with a laboratory. <laughs> you don't want to interface with a sex <laughs> Now, now that robot's got me talking like him, it's weird. <laughs> no, Please you, leave. I can no. hear you through the door. How good do we want you to hear? Yeah. <laughs> we, I'm pretty sure you should understand the concept of shaming. Not slut-shaming, but you, your speech impediment it offends me. I want to put you in a lock. Wow. Well, I mean, if if you want to stay here with him, we can come back and get, pick you up later. No, I have, I want nothing to do with this damn robot. But by the way, change your name to Hawk Tua. <laughs> I hate you. Hawk Tua. Yeah. Hawk Tua. Yeah. Oh God. I no, can't no. wait to play His Borderlands. His probably 4. aren't even that cool anyway. Mm -hmm. And now let us let us hop to it and. Uh, here we are leaving, home. and then they make stopping sounds. We're gonna go find better invent inventions. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Jane. Why are you here anyway? Fine. Yeah. Just to the door. <laughs> HK2A. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where should we look next? Where would they... Somewhere else where there's yellow doors, I imagine. Well, we found one. Like, by the yellow doors. I mean, not to say that they can't be there, but... Uh, we can just go east and do counterclockwise across, you know, oh, around the place. Sure. We could totally uh, split up, gang. We pretty much already got most of uh, the south already. I'll, I'll figure yeah, it out. I guess let's check these. The, the, let's check the yellow rooms. Alright, so which room would you like to go to first? Let's start at the bottom. Did we ever check those two purples by the uh, entrance? Uh, you may have, and they may have gotten recovered up, but they are they are all blank rooms. So yeah, I figured. Uh... Okay. 
Yeah, because we already had the purple key by then. Opening up this one, you find another empty room. I'm just say there's nothing else in these ones at all. Are you sure? Are you sure? Relatively. Um, nope, the there's something in there. Room. It's air. Yeah, Mark. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the one to the south end of the black door has radiation, so, you know. I think we'll pass on the radiant Asian rooms. <laughs> I already solved the, that puzzle. The black one above you as well has uh, also has radiation in it. I would like to solve the puzzle. Pick. Close the door. <laughs> <laughs> I see you want to go to the next one up. Okay. Yep. Right, this room is different. How different is a, it? This looks like a, uh, a spotless white clinic. It's a, sort of a, a medical bed along one thing. There's a Along the wall stand a pair of medical examination tables separated by a rubbery green curtain, as well as steel comet ca countertops and chrome-plated cabinets. This is the literal cleanest room I've ever seen in my life. Uh, hello? Who's that? Yeah. Hey, you have a medical emergency? As in the X room is an android. <laughs> Told you we wouldn't find an android in this side. Oh, dang it, Todd again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, some of you look like you have various conditions. You've got growth of your hair. Ever? Oh, and you have even more growth of your hair. Come, come on in, 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 come on in. Tell me, give it to me straight, Doc. How long do we have? Well, I don't know much about the physiology of your species, but I can assume anywhere between six minutes and 600 hours. And maybe more. Oh. I hope that's maybe even less. I hope you meant to say years, and not hours. I, I actually did, and then I was like, damn it. <laughs> or, he said or more, so that kind yeah. of... Yeah, or more. Yeah. That's me. That's me saying so myself. you could potentially be immortal. Um, uh, <laughs> he does actually triage you uh, earnestly, however, I will say. He does see that you will. It, I assume nobody has less than max HP. Yeah, we take oh, a lot of You're all fine. Long rest, yeah. Uh, so he checks all of you out, and you're actually, uh, as far as I can tell, you're all fine. Perfectly health, health. Uh, perfect health. Uh, you. Apart from the radiation. Apart from the radiation, which he, you know, you slept off because it's how radiation works. Slept off radiation. Um, <laughs> he does, uh, what's everybody's passive perception? Twelve. Fifteen. Well, fifteen. How do you know your passive perception? On the main tab on your character, it'll be on the left below your saving throws. Oh, okay, um. 10. Oh, wait. 10. 16. 16's perception. 16. Investigation's 10. What's your passive okay. reading? <laughs> passive animal handling, no. Um, so, uh, you do notice that he's got some sort of medical spray in, like, a holster on his side. That he's, he's carrying around. He hasn't needed to use it because you're all in perfect health, but he is carrying that around. Oh, man, it's a hypo spray. We're... we're to an exploring on lower levels, that type of, that um, healing can might be useful for us. Uh, I need the healing can that can heal anybody who comes in here. That's my how I doctor. Yeah, but we I mean, yeah, we're in here now, and we might be injured in the future. So if you gave it to us now, you would be healing us whenever we get injured. It's like you know, preemptive healing, preventative medicine. Make a uh, persuasion check. First of all, I'm deeply offended that you guys want to get your healing out of a can and not out of my incredibly talented claws. Maybe that might be the reason why you don't want it. Well, I do have several jars of this stuff, too. Fine. Oh. Um, okay, now roll a d100. Jars! Jars. <laughs> I remember whenever he healed you, he smashed one over your head. 
Um, okay, remind boom. me how to roll a d. Oh wait, dice roll. Yeah, we got some dice roll in two different areas. So and roll. they're still not aligned up for me. Good job. Got a number in my head. Look fine to me. What again? Oh, oh, 53. 53. Yeah, I didn't post. Um, okay, that's higher, so he's going to not do the stupid thing. Ah, well, I mean, if you are injured, you can come back and I can administer that first aid. Or you can call out, I guess, and if I hear you, I will come and triage you on the uh, battlefield, as it were. Um, I always wanted to be a battlefield medic, but... Really? Because... We have uh, fields here. There... Because the battlefield would involve uh, giant 20 foot mutated creatures. Oh, that note. Uh, you can come down with us. Ones that I, enjoy no, ripping just... arms off of uh, off of androids. Uh, well, I have two things to say. One, I, ha I can't because I need to be here in case anybody else has a medical emergency. They know where to find me. And two, uh, I, I don't have fear. I'm, a, I'm an android. They didn't program me with fear. I don't fear things. But how can you administer uh, medicine if you have your arms ripped off? What? With my feet. He's right. He's yeah, right. You could, you could try walking on your hands, and then you could eat, do important things with your feet, like giving high fives and eating sandwiches. You know, important stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're not around anymore. I can quote them. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just going to give up trying to argue this. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, pretty much uh, not going to give it to you for free. Oh, besides, what do you guys need, need that back bucket of my, bolts for? I need to go back to my paperwork, as we had a lot of um, injuries today. Uh, well, the four of you. Um, they're the only people here. I need to do the paperwork. He just goes back over to one of his desks. Typical bureaucracy. He doesn't even pick up papers. He just stares at it. He just goes, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> what were you saying, Boom? Oh, I think that's all of the androids. We had to find three, right? Yep. Or was it we had to four? find three, yes. Correct. Oh man, Alfie, oh. where are you at? Yeah, He's, steps uh, outside. Alfie! Did you um, find the android? Two of them, actually. That makes three! Tell me about them! One is disgusting, and one it uh, dispenses medicine. Really? And the That's... other is ripped apart by six-legged cats. As one does, yes. I am familiar with your customs on your planet. In any case, you have all completed the last of the tasks on this level. Good job! Now, I believe you were promised a suit of powered armor. We will power that up, and you will be brought out to you shortly. Six to five See you the next level! Wall. Goes before you can really just talk to him. Yeah. Moment goes by and down the hallway to the south, you just hear clank, 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 clank. Uh, the robot with the alt that brought you the uh, anti gravity belt is now coming up the hallway with like just trying to carry this giant suit of armor on his back and is just trying to like tread, make his way to this. Gets up to you guys, is like, eh, 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 as he's trying to hold it out. What do you do? Uh, Lionel, uh, I think this is for you. Wow, weird way to pronounce my name. I've said a number of times exactly and not that way, but yes, you're right. <laughs> well, I don't have it in front of me anymore since Mark changed it. <clears throat> so what's anyway. it look like? Armor. It looks like armor with two yeah. legs and two arms. So Human in every way. Of powered armor which you can add to your inventory. I assume you're probably going to give it to Slick there. Um... I think he's the only one who can, <laughs> who can wear it. <laughs> Damn it, Mark! <laughs> <laughs> 
So this is heavy armor. He's probably the only one who can wear it, yes. Well, a six can, I guess. Technically. This she's is a, true. She's a fighter. Alright, it'll be between the two of you of what you want to do with that. Um, but it is, it is an item. Uh, you can... It's technolog technologically advanced plate armor that includes undersuit that can fully seal, a helmet with a full face mask, and crystal lenses in the eye holes. Um, what are we talking as far as protection is concerned? What are we looking at? Um, technological. It says it's plate armor, so I think it's eighteen. Yeah. Plus. Yeah, I'm looking looking that specific up right one. now. You, it is an. Oh, okay, so you can go it. So it is. It is. Uh, as an action, you can activate the armor. Expend a number of charges to activate it. it remains active for one hour per charge expended, and you can use some bonus action to disactivate it. Blah blah. blah. While the armor is activated, you gain the following benefits. Augmented phys physicality. Uh, you have advantage on strength checks, and your carrying capacity is doubled. Environmental adaptation. Uh, it's airtight, so you can basically, you know, are good in pretty much any environment, including extreme temperatures and poisons. It has a force field. Uh, when you would take damage, you can use your reaction to expend one of the charges to deploy a force field. Uh, you basically reduce the damage by 3d10. It has propulsion. As a bonus action, you can uh, give yourself a flying speed for one minute, equal to your walking speed. And then, of course, you can replace the energy cell. And we'll say that there is one energy cell in here. I was looking at powered armor from a different adventure. So, sorry. Yes, make sure you get the one from uh, Quest from the Inter Infinite Staircase. It is, I it is, just it is the non-legendary one. Yes, it is the non-legendary one. Um, I did just notice that myself. Yeah. So. yeah, actually, uh, the, I, the, there's another adventure I got um, that's basically the spiritual successor to this. Um, and you yeah, find the power armor in that. From LLK is... So I think it would still be good for Lion. For oh, Lost, over, Lost Laboratory well, I, Polish. I've, I've run that before. A, yeah. My armor is uh, very comparable <laughs> to this. Yeah, but you can get all these benefits. So, what 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 benefits though? Like, Mark, 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 so let me just say. I that. know. I well, no, that's not what I mean. I. Well, what is the, your current one? The the practicality of it is not. It's very situational. I. Uh, I'm not. He I'm would. Not going he to... he'd basically be. Transfer, uh, trading off his current armor mm -hmm. and his major bonus for that with armor that he can power for a certain amount of time uh, to reduce damage and do a bunch of other things. Like He'll probably get hit more often, but he'll be able to reduce damage yeah. on each of those for you know as much energy cells as he has. Uh, it has a lower armor class. Uh, it doesn't and... have an armor class, actually. This one is not an armor class. It is basically an item that gives you a lot of extra protection for in in certain situations. Oh. Wait, so is it replacing my armor or is it not? It is heavy armor, so it would replace your armor. Uh, that is an armor. It doesn't have an AC bonus is what it's saying. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, oh no! I'm sorry. It's a. It's a functions as a suit of normal plate armor. Okay, so just listen here a little bit. Right? So probably. Wait, it says the, right here. Uh, yeah, armor class 18. Yeah, the one I'm. I'm not looking on D and D Beyond at the item thing, okay. but yeah, there. Okay, yeah, you're good. You you have plate armor that is now beneficial. Huh. D does your current armor do anything? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> It, what is what is your what is the are you in plate armor right now? Yes. So Doesn't this will do be plate armor special. that yeah this is strictly better. I don't know. You just don't want to wear wear powered armor. You don't want to look like Master Chief. This is like trying to get him to change his underwear. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll we do... can take it with us if it can function as a way to. He does have an, um, an, an, uh, antim, antimite plate or whatever. Adamantine so, plate, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. So, so it can't, he can't be critical hit. Getting rid of the belt. Yeah. And so, knowing but, my luck, so what... knowing my luck, 
I would get crit a lot. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> because that just happens. What what Boom was saying though is that you can take it with you. I mean, yeah, yeah, we'll still we'll we'll take it with you. Um, in case we have to go through a big area with a lot of radiation in it, or that doesn't have air or water or something like that, then we it's... could just use it as a um to not die suit. <laughs> if there's a word for that. Six, can you can you wear powered armor or can you wear heavy armor? Oh yeah, I can. So you could wear it if you want, if you want to trade out your armor for it. Um It just shrinks down it, it Does it penalize my decks? Uh it doesn't it's normal plate armor, so it'd be the same thing as a plate armor. It wouldn't penalize your decks, but it probably doesn't add it to um your AC. It would probably prevent you from using your wings. Yeah, you can fly. Oh, I but mean, it, it I, yeah, but the, the power ability. armor flies, so... Yeah, but power flies when with power. You guys do have a couple of energy cells, so... Yeah, I have pretty two. Alright, I will take the powered armor, armor but I am not going to wear it just yet. So carry, okay. carry it around? <laughs> going to have it walk after armor. me. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 just, just, it folds into a briefcase, like uh, the Iron Man suit. Yeah, so... Yeah, well, well, We'll say it's portable. Just look, look up a uh, powered armor, but not the orange one. The, this, the, the There's black a one. black one. That one. Yep. Yep. That's the one. Yeah, sorry to make a big deal out of the armor, but no, no, no. It's it's a it's a major item thing, and it's like it's a little confusing, but like you know, it's it's beneficial. And this is kind of like the thing that you do, and probably in a traditional campaign back in the day, you would probably trade items around for your party to maximize what you can do. So this is, uh -huh. you know, totally in line. So let's test this armor on those giants. Well, I mean, okay. Here I thought, I thought Six was very vulnerable to the attacks of enemies, and now she'll be less vulnerable to the attacks of enemies. Are yeah, you right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Let's um, take a quick break as, as Boom can read over that the specifics of that, and uh, I can use the little boy's room. Ew. <laughs> I'll be back momentarily. I'll make my Humblewood character. <sighs> okay. If we're good. Uh, for now, it's just sitting in a, whoever has a bag of holding. <laughs> so... You have four tubes. You know that the one that you're near is where you went down and saw those giant things. Or well, I say we lay some violence on something. Same for the start. Violence okay. is good. Well, I'm outdated. <laughs> Imagine if one six is wearing a power armor. It's like a little kid in a um, in like a snow, big snow jacket. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Like the oversized galoshes, so like the entire leg has to lift up. Okay, I'm just for the visual. I'm wearing the power armor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I'm ready. Uh, it, it's like in Sonic Two, uh, where uh, they end up going into the bar covered in like um, in, in like um, galoshes and um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so we'll say you're going back down to the normal thing. Those uh. Things have are no longer there. You still see the shriekers on the uh, the plants in the in the edge there. So just to be clear, I don't care about those. I don't want to eat you them. Your task with your task with killing them. I don't want to eat them at all. Hey, Saul. Yeah. When last I checked, and this is just me being a um, a amateur horticulturist, as it were. I do not imagine those plants would take kindly to being lit on fire, if you understand what I'm insinuating. No, go into great elaborations while I set them on fire. Plants burn. <laughs> fire bad. <laughs> they begin to shriek, and you are able to very easily just get kill, kill the lot of them. Okay. Yeah, and just... as they shriek, though, the uh, you hear the the big giants going out. No, I heard them again. They keep yelling, and I can't sleep. Now you're dead. To investigate. 
Does anybody do anything as they're heading by? I don't think there's any avoiding this time. You can always run back up again. Or hide in this room over here. Uh, I'm tired of running. Yep, me too. I'm gonna jump out in rage. Oh, I'm, going to get between, I'm going to try to get between six and uh, Saul, and work as a bit of a work like a um, like a uh, a shield to my friends. Okay, uh, go ahead. Well, let me start up the uh, thing, Bob. This is. I thought we only had one barbarian in the party. I gotta fix up the, uh... Come on, go, go to the thing. There you go. Fix up the party level. Jeez, how big are these things? Uh, they're huge. They're three, yeah, they're three by, three by three, so... Hold on. The time Clicky has... Clickety-clackety. Roll for attack me. <laughs> he means initiative. Oh, come on! Ah. 15. You stand there and billow your, clo your cloak for your entire first turn. Yeah. Here, I'll make I'm you ready, hard. but not quite. <laughs> that, so this is a roll of me. four, but I definitely rolled hard than that. Uh, that was me. Uh, that was, that was, that was yeah, that was Oh, yeah, it was you too. It says three plus one. What is on the game log? Well, am I rolling an advantage? It's gonna roll one more time. You can change it if you want. So it looks like you rolled a fifteen as well. So I'll give you the fifteen. Okay. I'm just seeing what it shows. So twelve and twenty. What does it show here? Maybe it did by disadvantage or something. In in the in the game log on the character sheet or on the campaign. Page this one, this one had the newest one. Twice. Yeah. Maybe I accidentally did it, no. but I rolled a 15. Alright, you got a 15? Yeah. There we go. Alright, we're good. This doesn't seem right to do rat battle, so we'll pick um, Field Heroes. And 6 got 11. This one that's actually close to you, Rhubarb, is up first. So it's going to come up to you okay. and takes out its club. Uh, let me just make sure. This is... Yeah, it's just going to do two great clubs on you because uh, that's what it saw. Initial reaction. Uh, that was almost. Uh, nope, it was a... rolled over to the 19, so 28. This is 28 hit. Yeah. Uh, 58 damage. 19 bludgeoning damage. Oh, jeez. Rhubarb, no! Second attack. What? Two 20, of them? Does a 21 hit? Yes. You take 24 bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. Yeah, these giant things that are bigger than giant rhubarb with giant clubs? Yeah, <laughs> maybe it'll be hard. It might be difficult. Rhubarb, you're up. Okay. Six, you're on deck. <laughs> Hold on, let me get the ruler out here. Feel free while uh, Rhubarb's taking his turn. Yeah, I'm going to uh, recklessly attack. Does that seem smart? Okay. I'm going to shoot the one that's further away let's, without let's, hitting Lyrian. You're on, you're on the deck. The one that's you're closer. Next. Oh, oh, I was oh, gonna oh, say oh. the one that's yeah, that is the a, one that's closer is uh that is, is a uh, is, na natural twenty. Uh, it says it's thirteen. I guess the advantages aren't coming through. I, so I rolled it. Roll it's a twenty. That's. Uh, I mean, I'll check the. Uh, I believe you, but yeah, it's rolling. It's rolling twice. Um, you might want to. Well, no, it's page, um, but yeah, there's there's it's, there's a twenty there. It's showing the disadvantage. It might be um, might be my add-on, but sure, I did yeah, I did um, roll a twenty. Um, okay, just yeah, refresh yeah, the twenty. Trust me. Yeah. Uh, or open it up in a different browser. 
So. So it doesn't attack me because that's that's what I do. I use safari when I'm. When I'm that right is here. twelve initial damage. Okay. Plus an additional seven because of my vicious ball. Or is that a, a D twelve? Uh, I don't know. It just says seven on my description. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that's right. That's a thing. I think it's supposed to just be a seven. Okay, so seven extra damage. Okay. And then there. the critical will be an extra eight. Plus twenty-seven. Got my elemental cleaver, which is fire. An extra two D six because yeah. of the crit. Be six fire damage. Good, good chunk out of him. Uh, you should be able to, you know how you can roll advantage and not by right clicking? You should be able to do that on damage as well. You should be able to roll crit damage yeah. by right clicking on it. Oh, you're right. Yep. I never knew that. Yep. <laughs> okay. So that was yeah. your first attack. I assume you have more. Yep. Advantage. Good chunk out of him. Well, that'll be a 10. Wow. Um. Yeah, that fails. <laughs> so yeah, you take your first your first attack with your axe, you just get this like super awesome thing, and you're like, holy sh I did that? And it kind of blips you out of it for a second as you try to hit your second one, and he dodges out of the way. Yeah. Oops. Anything else? Uh, nope. Okay. Six, you're up. Okay, I have a question. Okay. Can I cast Enlarge on Rhubarb to make him even bigger? I believe so, because it's not... It's. We, we did this in one of the other campaigns, and the answer yeah. is still yes. Jo yeah, so to, to double-check this, is that Joey, is, is what you did to yourself, is that the Enlarge Reduce spell, or is this an ability that makes you enlarge as if it were the spell? Um, it's, I think it's part it's, of his rage. Yeah, it's it's not the spell. Right, right. But does it does it cast the spell as part of the rage, or does it just do the same thing as the spell? It, it's not the spell at all. I'll look it up though. Okay. Yeah, no, that's this one because it, it might say when you rage, you cast, you know, whatever. So oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not that. that. Okay, then you yeah, would be able like to do this because you can't stack like uh, spells don't stack. When they're the same okay. thing, but yeah, you can it, do it because it's something different. The yeah, target's but... attacks deal an additional one d four damage to. Right. Yeah, this this is pretty much exactly like when I turned into the alligator. Right, right, right. I'm just making making sure that he wasn't enlarged by the same essentially magic. So, rhubarb, you are now huge. So it's not be a buzz kill. Can you cast that on other people or only yourself? Oh. Because it's a fairy uh, trait. You cast on other people, yeah. Oh, oh, it's a trait. You cause a creature or object you can see within range to grow larger or smaller for the duration. Yep. Choose either a creature or object that is either neither worn nor carried. Rhubarb, are you worn? I'm kind of worn out, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> I mean, as long as you're willing, it, it like yeah. works. But if you want to, like, this is a not... wizard spell, so if, if it was uh, caster only, that would be well. Absolutely I, I'm awesome. asking because it Joe, it says yeah, and eight other you're, creatures. You're, you're so fine. It's you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> I grow even bigger. Um, rah, 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 rah. Here you go, Joey. Try you are the giant starter. Star. Make my vegan grow a little. Make my vegan grow. <laughs> I want to be. I want to be. Okay. Want to be rhubarb. Okay. And then I think you get an extra D4, D4 damage. Yep. yep. Okay. Keep that noted. Um, anything else? Six. Or is that uh, I'm gonna move over a little. Back up. Okay. FOMO A is up. Uh, you can't get by FOMO B because this is a 20 foot hallway and they take up three fourths of it. Um. Mm. But he's got a long reach, so he is going to attack Giant Rhubarb. Um, first, the Great Club. 
So it does it, a dirty 20 it hit. It is at advantage. Right, you could get a crit now. Yeah. Nope. Does a dirty 20 hit? Yeah. Roll low this time. Relatively low. You take 20 bludgeoning damage. I'm assuming you're not reducing this. Correct. Okay. So you reduce whatever it is. I'm just telling you the damage that he deals re reduce whatever it is. Yep. Um, and then he's going to look at you uh, and... Because you're in the way. I'm not picking on you, Joey. Um, I need you to make a... It's going to give you the evil eye. I need you to make a charisma saving throw, Rhubarb. Uh, does Lyriel give him any benefits from this? Yeah, what's your aura? Do you have... Yeah, he must have the aura for saving throws. So 14 plus 4. You're good, even without the aura, or with the aura, whatever it is, that as long as you're above the 14, you're good. Um, you take half of this damage, which is, so you take half of that, which is, you're going to be 12. So you take 12 damage as uh, you shake off the evil eye, but holy crap, it's an evil eye. His turn. Saul, you are up, and then Lyriel's up after that. Um, and then the FOMO B is up again. Do I help help in healing or uh, or damage? How you look at Rebarb? Oh, like free force. Hey, you're fine. Oh. That's all we need. Um. He looks like he needs a little bit of assistance, but he looks fine. So I'm going to. Ah. Uh, Right, where is it? Okay, there it is. Um, uh, basically, opens a bottle, uh, pours out a salve, and uh, uh, talks to it. Huh? On my big toe. Actually, yes. Uh, pours it on your feet as he casts on you haste. Oh, God. There you go. Uh, like, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, not only do you get a second action for uh, for attacks, you also get a plus two bonus to your AC. Okay. An advantage on deck, sa deck saving throws. Okay. Anything else? Um, I'm going to step away again, just in case they give another stink eye. Lyriel! Yes, I, was, I, I was here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so real quick, I wanna uh I want to coordinate with six. Um if I engage the FOMO B, would you shoot like focus fire on the FOMO A? Because oh, I should I'll be far away enough from the FOMO A. To uh, so that you're not going to shoot me when you um, shoot at him. If I remember right, we ended up having this problem with a larger, or another large enemy as well. And if they're big enough, uh, they might. Um, I think Boom can shoot at it and not be within a like like shoot to the left of it rather than like. Uh, uh, um, I will. I would say like if he was on the other side. Then you would you would target like like uh, yeah that could be far enough away but like I'm not gonna let that cheese from like okay. this sort of thing because it's a uh, proximity. Um, now that makes sense. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was because... thinking the same thing though. <laughs> so if I trot here, mm -hmm. right? And if cow shoots the FOMO A. 
Yeah, it's over. I it, shouldn't As long as it's 10 feet away. Correct. You it is 10 feet away. It is, yep. it is, it is 15 over feet, 10 feet away, away from you at least, so you're good. Yeah. Okay. Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run up on this buddy. Run up on this homie for smacking around my homie. Oh, uh, little kitty, come to play. Oh, yes, you'll see what, uh... What kind of beast you... <coughs> you have awakened this day, beast. So, first attack. God, 14, is that hit? Just hits. Okay. Um, so there's my first damage. There's your magic number. There's my first damage, and then my, uh... That was a D4 for my smite, right? I think. Um... Are you do what? Uh, what is which smite, smite is it? Yeah. The divine smite or is it something else? It's, it's the smite. the uh, it's the divine smite. It's the one so, that it's the one that gives me a d six <laughs> or like a d like a like yeah, a d four. All of those are wrong. So it gives you two two d eight for a first level spell slot and nope. then an additional d eight for every slot above that. No, so you know you how to... my how Canis does extra damage on his attack. That's what he's talking about. Joey, it's not a Canis game. Yes, but he's the paladin. Yeah, okay, yeah he, he does an extra D eight on his attacks, automatically. Right. Yeah, I just can't remember because I'm dumb. I, I uh, only one per per uh, turn though. Nope, just on his attacks. Oh, I see what you're saying. This is this isn't yeah. divine. Fight itself, it's a different ability. Yeah, yes. it's a thing I do. Mark, hit people. gotta gotta have a clear mind that that beer is the devil's well, drink. Well, it's yeah. hard when I say <laughs> it, it, it's hard when I say, "Hey, is this divine smite?" And he says, "Yes." So you know, it's, oh, you know. yeah, it's also true. <laughs> I am also an idiot. So <laughs> in, in Mark's defense, he is dealing with a moron. <laughs> I have, is, I have said plenty of times that jumping into new characters and new classes at the level it is called improved easy, divine so. smite, but it just adds it to gotcha. every every tech. Yep. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so I've added that. Yep. Go ahead and make your second uh, attack. Okay, that'll hit. Damage for one part of that, and then the D8. There you go. And then uh, as a free action after my stuff do, that I was able to do. You want to do, do a normal Divine Smite, though. You actually want to smite one of these things. Uh, I'm going to hold off on that, but what I am going to do is do my, um, do my Daunting Roar. Um, so they got to do a DC 15 on a wisdom saving throw. Um, anybody within, uh, uh, 10 feet that can hear me. 10 feet. So it would just be FOMO B and, uh, yep. does it affect anybody or anybody you choose? Oh, enemies. Uh, okay. Enemies. Yeah. Cr oh yeah. Creatures of my choice within 10 feet that can hear me must succeed okay. a, a wisdom saving throw or become frightened until the end of my next turn. Rolling. Oh, you get a five. Good. I scared the hell out of him. <laughs> he is now, you said, frightened? Frightened of me. Frightened of you. Okay. So he cannot move closer to you. He has disadvantage while he can see you. Mm -hmm. These are all good things. Okay. Anything else? Um, and then uh, as my turn ends, like after my roar. My uh, my cloak billows gorgeously, like heroically, um, in the in the aftermath of the roar. Oh, uh, they, right. they have no chance now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Top of the uh, top of the round, Fulby is just looking at you like, oh, bloating cloth, my weakness. <laughs> he's super scared. Uh, he's actually going to target you because of that. He's panicking uh, because of the fear. So. Um, He's going to straight up just two great clubs at you, not doing his other things. So two great clubs. First one at disadvantage. Natural one. Second one at disadvantage. 17. That does not hit Lyriel. As, as he's trying to come up and hit you, he's just like, he kind of closes his eye to swing, and he swings horizontally 
and he's taller than you. Um, so he just misses you with each of the swings. He swings his arms from side to side. Um, <laughs> no, Lyriel uh, gets a yeah. like, like totally cold hard ass, and then the second can swing, he like does it. I just kind of sidestep. <laughs> Rhubarb, that was a very good move on his part. Um, as your reckless is now wore off, you were up uh, in six, you were up after him. Oh, yep, yeah. so I get three attacks now. I just kind of imagine like six trying to shoot past a gigantic dwarf, and she's like, Hit the deck, and he's like, Okay, fine, and he like lays on his belly and he like. <laughs> Still taller than most of us. <laughs> yeah, she just shoots through the legs. Do Does I have it? to reposition, or can I shoot through the legs? Um, we'll see on your turn. You'll probably be fine, but let's see if you know how much Joey does because he got three attacks going on. Oh yeah, I am. I'm totally fine just using my next yeah. turn to move because I'll, I'll I'll save up for. Well, you get a free you get a free move anyway. This isn't uh, Starfinder, so oh, twenty six will hit Joey. Can you do some retroactive damage? Why? Because I get an extra critical die. From what? Brutal what critical. Oh yeah, go ahead and roll it. Okay. Six. Yeah, yeah, you asked that. Um, <laughs> uh, go ahead and do the. You got the twenty-six now, so go ahead and roll the hit for this. Rhubarb sh- giant foaming at the mouth. <laughs> okay, well, let's make sure nineteen don't count as critical. I think that's a fighter thing. Um, okay, so that is a twenty-six. Super small. A nine plus. Four fire. He is now bloodied. I'm, I'm doing this right now. Got... Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Uh-huh. So, uh, did you roll that first one with advantage? Yeah, I did. Yes, you did. Okay, you're good then. Okay. 22. And you get that is- additional one d four for the. Uh, oh yeah. Huge damage. Yeah. So roll that, and then the twenty two will hit as well. Two. Wouldn't it be uh, 2d4 since he's both large and the size above that? No, the uh, um, uh, the Barbarian one doesn't actually cause extra damage. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. Seven, one, and then another d4, three. Okay, it's getting down there. Third attack. Third attack. I'll make this a crit. <laughs> I'm doing it in crit. fast motion. I'm a blur. The giant blur. Yeah. I'm not rolling very high in these. You're you're getting him with attrition, though. I'm rolling them both at the same time for this one. Yeah. So that'll be 10 plus 5. Got that. He's, uh, he's, like, he's been bloodied. He's now, he's pretty hurt. He's not really, really hurt yet, but, like, relatively, he's, he's hurt. Yeah. Um, uh, it's only been that. two rounds, so that's do, doing pretty good. So, Joey, you basically take out your your axe. It's not huge. You just basically helicopter spin it over your head <laughs> and just get like three three slices into this guy's neck. Barbarian spin. <laughs> spin to win. Six. You are now up. You are aware win. that Lyriel will. Uh, uh, sorry, did you want to do anything else, Joey? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, so if you are aware that Lyriel will attract the bullets, um, I'm going to go ahead and say... It will? Well, for it... Sorry. You'll be able to hit past... Yeah, you'll be able to shoot past um, giants. Uh, maybe if you get a natural one, we'll play that, but we'll uh, see. But you can shoot from, a, from where you're standing. Well, maybe natural one, you're just making up rules then. That's called DMing, Joey. That's called DMing. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna cast the bullet. Okay. It's like Gene from Outlaw Star. 
I have a quick question, Mark. Does your Kenku, is it in perf um, performance mode or like... I have like, it in performance mode, yes. This is like breaking up a lot. Yeah, I should probably put it out of that. But it's for... But that helps with performance. Um, I'll switch it out. Uh, the 28 will hit, as I'm doing this. Plus I messed up. Oh wait, that was... Sorry, that was a, another attack roll. I didn't do That's damage. okay, we'll say your second attack hits as well, because that's a natural 20 and I'm not going to let you... Oh, I'm sorry, way. performance mode is the right thing, sorry. Alright, 15 yeah. for the damage on the first one. Okay. And then just a moment. Fifteen on the first one. Natural twenty on the second one, so roll with the critical critical damage. Uh do I do anything special or oh, right click damage. on it right click on it like you do the uh attack roll and should be able to do Eight. crit damage on it. Oh that hurts. <laughs> that hurts. I've I'm I am really considering in like the next thing I run to to just hope house rule that crits do maximum dice damage and then an additional dice roll. Oh that's that might be too much more. I mean I feel it's fair. Uh fifteen will hit. I shot. Yeah, your your normal shots did more than your crits. I know. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it sucks, but it's Take like that probability. It's, cr it's critical hits, not critical damage. He hit a weak spot, but he had extra flesh in the weak spot. <laughs> All right, let's I have shot. no Anything idea. Else? He had a pocket protector. <laughs> Carry my Bible in my pocket. And just Stop me from going this hard. Uh, anything else? Six. Any movement? Or um, I'm gonna quickly try to move, get a little better position. Okie doke. This, this, the fungal growth on the left is. I, I imagine that this place is like a, a pile, but it's mostly on the ground. It's mostly flat, so it's not like difficult terrain or blocking you or anything. Okay, yeah, I'm saying get there. Hide behind some mushrooms. Alright, FOMO A is up, and FOMO B's like, oh, get out of the way, Jeff! And, Dad. um... <laughs> it's gonna go ahead and, uh... It can't see Lyriel, so it wouldn't do this. It's probably not do that at all. But it's gonna go ahead and do the same thing it did last time, so... First attack on um, rhubarb at advantage. Oh, it rolled like shit. Uh, seventeen, seventeen hit. Uh, no, because of my uh, haste. East. I, I just quickly <laughs> matrix charge out of the way. Uh, that's gonna go ahead and do a another. No, you know it's gonna try and great club you again. It's not gonna be trying to actually just swipe at you. Much better that time. 26 to hit. Yep. 19 damage. Bludgeoning. Okay. And he's, he's not even going to move. He's just trying, he's basically just trying to reach around, reach around you, but he's got a 15 foot reach, so he's just basically like, Putting his club between FOMO B and the and the wall. Saul, you're up again. Uh, how, how's he looking? Uh, B is pretty bloodied. Uh, A is not yet bloodied. Uh, no, I'm at rhubarb. Sorry. Oh, um, big. I mean, I took one hit. See up his loincloth. I took like one hit between that, so about the same. Okay, so you're uh, you're not bloodied or anything. Uh, nope. Okay, so I'm gonna do stupid stuff still. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna take a potion and just roll it across. Uh, uh, just go up right here, 
and roll a potion uh, down the hall um, uh, between his legs. And basically, um, if I can get the thing to ping. Uh, is it a... Uh... Yeah. Um, basically, uh, just... Uh, how, how big? How big is the area of effect? Some of that first. Uh, ten foot square. So basically, the um, if possible between them. Otherwise, the block just below FOMO A's name. Um, Greece. I would say you put it there. All right, it is greased. Uh, I will say that they're they're so big that it's like one foot is going to be in each of those. So I can either, if you want to put it there, I will give them advantage on their saves, or if you want to put that it under sense. one person, um, it'll be normal. It's up to you. Yeah, put it under put it under B, uh, yeah, like not, uh, center. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna slide it out here just to remember. Apparently, the rule is like it has to cover like most of the token, at least half of it, to uh, actually affect it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That way, plus, um, it's gonna last a minute. So if this guy dies, then another one comes up and will just step on the oil. So okay, Um, it will eventually affect both of them. When it appears, saving throw or fall prone. Uh. The uh, yeah, when the creature enters the area or ends its turn, they must succeed a, de- a save on the deck save. So and when it affect that. And when it, yeah, it, when the grease appears. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, first, yeah. that first sentence there. You gotta read the first sentence. <laughs> I, read. What's that? <laughs> uh, deck it save fails. Screen. Fails and... the full. It is now prone. Um, we can't do that roll 20 thing where we rotate it to show what it Unfortunately, no. <laughs> I love doing that, though. <laughs> okay, anything else? Uh, that'll be it. Uh, I'm still concentrating on the haste, so I can't do much else. Hey, Lyriel. This grease concentration. You have... Uh, no. Uh, it is, uh, it is cast, and then it is, it is there yep. for one minute. I have no control after that. Okay. Yeah, sure. Right. Lyria, you're up. There's a giant, weird, ugly thing in front of you that is kind of like spinning around on its back because it's on the super slick grease, and it's afraid of you. And I'm going to have to put it out of its misery. You have advantage. You have, advan- you have advantage. Yep. Ah, uh, yes. I, I can just imagine him uh, jumps forward, stabs him, gets him in the eye. And now that he's blind, he can no longer see you, so he doesn't have disadvantage anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's fair. It's happened, yeah. And then uh, without roll 20, um, how did I roll things at advantage? Um, Right-click right on it. With, Select advantage. Yeah, right, right-click on the rolling oh, area. There it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Without beyond 20. Appreciate you. <laughs> okay. Beyond 20 out right first attack. Okay. 30-20 will hit. So there's the, uh, there's the first part of the damage and the second part of the damage. Air Paladin, where's the third, fourth, and fifth? <laughs> he's holding off. This guy's, this guy's looking bad, so he's like, you know, yeah. just wait. Second attack? All right. And... Justice! 30, 20. Again, that'll hit. Just leave that. Plus the other one. Uh, and then I think what I'll do is... Is he close to dying? Because I will just... He's, he's not super close, but if you, if you did a high enough smite, it could if, kill him. I'm not going to tell you how high. Okay, so we'll do my. That's two d8 oh. plus a d8 plus um for, for every spell level. Wait, hold on a second. Minimum two. So, going to be doing the first first level. Hold on. Okay. 
here. Is it? What? It's in it my might spells. Be under isn't special, it? special uh, on, at the bottom under your actions tab. Divine Smite is not a spell, but it does use a spell slot. Yeah. Other type of smites do use a spell slot. Yeah. Because they are spells. So go to your actions tab. It'll probably be under. If you filter it, it, for it, it, it's, it's 2d8 and just tick off a, a first level spell slot. Okay. Yeah, or just do that. Okay. So I will take. I don't think there's actually a, a cast divine smite button. No, but it'll be under. I think they have it under actions as an attack action. Yeah. There you go. 13. Good, good, good. He is still alive. Oh. <laughs> but he's oh. very bad. Oh. I almost feel bad for it. Anything else? Uh, no, that's all I can do. Thank you. Okay. Mori, uh, FOMO B is that he's uh, starting his turn there, but he is prone already. So he's not standing in the area. He's going to slowly... Uh, going to slowly stand up. And he's gonna look at you, Lirio, and he's gonna give you a, an evil eye, but he's gonna give you a bad evil eye. I need you to make a charisma saving throw. No, he doesn't. <gasps> he's immune to fear. Why? It's not fear. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is not fear. I mean, even, even as such, he would just be immune to the final effect, but... Yeah, eat my ass. <laughs> Yeah, 27 does it. You would have needed a one or two. To, no, I'm sorry. You would have needed a one to fail that. <laughs> uh, you still take half of this. So the half will be... round down to right. nine. You take nine psychic damage. Right, I'm confused. He, he only needed a... Uh, he could have saved at all if he only didn't roll a one. Correct. So the why minimum... did he not roll a one? <laughs> Gods must be crazy. But He's luckily, you um... didn't say it beforehand. It's like <laughs> all you need to do is not roll a one. <laughs> He's actually cool. gonna try and get away, so <laughs> Lyriel and whatnot can get uh, tax of opportunity. Uh... He moved on the grease as he kept saving it. No, it's when you're standing. And you start your turn. He yeah, was not standing. Or... Yeah. Okay. No, I, I double checked that because I, was, I wasn't sure myself. Yes, so anybody wishes to attack opportunity? I actually say this is a a uh, sixteen. A, uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be doing the the attack with the opportunity because this thing is, you know, it's not just a dumb animal that's trying to run away. It is something that is evil. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's evil, the, the usual, um, the usual Lyrial mercy does not afford is not afforded to things that are evil. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll an attack. Mm -hmm. I already did. Uh, 19, uh, 19 is what I rolled. Hit. Six. Uh, Joey's attack would have killed him, so you just wasted your reaction. So ha. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, as you're as you're getting up, and he's he's trying to get away, and he's just slipping, 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 and you and Rhubarb just come down together in sync and just kill this thing, and his body is now lying on the floor. I don't have a. That's right, there's no X for it. He's just dead. Alright. Uh, Rhubarb, you're up. I'm just gonna rapid fire, throw my axe at him three times. It's like, okay. goes in, returns, goes in, returns. <laughs> Do you have an axe boomerang? Yeah, mine's, um. Oh, my mine's God. the, uh. Um, God of War axe now. You're like the psychos in Borderlands that just have infinite <laughs> axe throws. 16. 16 hits. 23. 23 hits. 14. 14 just hits. Yep. First damage. Second damage. 8. Third damage. 12. Now the f extra damage. 
A fine hit. A fine it's hit. Gonna be a fine six. hit. <laughs> 36, 36, 34, 18. So 8, 14, 12, a... then 18. Yep. That has brought him down to bloodied. Oh! <laughs> he's only hit by six, so... Just, just hasted and huge, and he's just like all... Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. <laughs> this will never be bad. Anything else, Joey? Uh, that is it. I'm gonna stand my ground here so I can get past. Okay. I, I've used this exact same strategy with Carlac and PG3. <laughs> It's like um, co cover her in buffs and just she get, can go solo the entire fight. Oh, I wonder if yeah. they're um since they added mods to Boulder's Gate now they're like I know they've already added like more subclasses, but I wonder if they'll be like a lot better now. So you oh, see, okay. so you'll see stuff like this in here and there. I mean, they added <laughs> goblins. That's the important part. Well, I mean, kobolds are the important part, but goblins are second. They're basically kobold cousins. They're the lesser kobolds. The kobolds rock. <laughs> Six, you're up. Gonna be fighting after after the video. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm going. There's about three goblins in a trench coat. It's three kobolds in a trench coat. So it just wins from that. And I, I, I'm still safe. I'm far, far away from enough from the FOMO. Correct. Nothing has to... moved. So you're, you're good. Okay. Six, if you want to shoot. All right. Cool. All right, I'm going to reload and then cast bullet again. All right. And I start I blasting. <laughs> but anyway, I started blasting. And then I didn't stop. And then I missed. 25 will hit. Absolutely. <laughs> Nine damage. Then I'm gonna reload. Oh wait, I already reloaded. Never mind. Yeah, you yeah. reloaded. Uh, I'm gonna, okay, shot. I'm gonna do the second time then. So now I'm okay. sure. I was gonna say. Are you a cosplayer? Just, God reloading out. <laughs> 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 Twenty-four hits and damage. Still standing tough. That was your third action, I believe. Reload. Shoot. Shoot. All right, that is. Oh, I'm. I'm gonna move a little more. I'm a little okay. hesitant to step on this glass, but. We can fly, so. Not anymore. Yeah. I'm wearing the power oh, armor. Oh, you are. Okay, I, have to, I have to like did push you... a button to be able to fly. Uh, actually, before we continue, did you use any charges to power? Did you like use one charge to power it for an hour? No, I didn't. Okay, so you just it's normal plate armor right now. Cool. Okay. FOMO A is up. Uh, he, he has no fear of missing out. <laughs> He's going to slowly make his way across this. Um, so he's not, he's basically not going to slip in it uh, because he's going to just stay to the side. Um, I would have laughed till I peed if he's just slipped right into it after running right into us. <laughs> he's going to... I wasn't adding my rage damage to the damage. I'm dumb. <laughs> you weren't? Nope. <laughs> okay. Joey! Um, honestly, what I would I do, take a look in the um, homebrew for something that people have made that adds the uh, the uh, rage damage as an item. And you just equip the item and it does that while you're raging. So it adds the plus two. It doesn't work with everything, but for things that are like a static number, it's perfect. So can you add nine damage to, to that, <laughs> that guy? Um, well, you, I mean, he's already dead, so. No, the, oh, the, oh, to this guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. That's fine. Okay. I, I That's mean, it's fine. my fault, so. It's close enough that it's not going to change yeah. everything. So he's going to come up, and he's going to, um. You attacked recklessly, right? I did not. Did not. You know what? Yeah, he's actually not going to walk closer because he doesn't need to because he has a 15-foot reach. So he's going to just stand there. Cheater. <laughs> and do the first attack with a great club on Rhubarb. 13 probably misses. Yeah. 
Oh, he's Both of you step and... back. <laughs> he's gonna stink eye you again. Take, please do a charisma saving throw. Okay. Uh, eight plus four. Well, you fail. You take the full twenty one damage. Twenty one psychic damage. I wish I did the other one, which makes you turn ugly until you can pass it in the long rest. <laughs> He's actually going to back up 30 feet. How, uh, how close was he to me? Was He He was uh, about 10 feet away. Okay. What was he? Was he 10 feet? 5, 10. He was technically 15. He was okay. in the 15 square. There's 10 feet between, so he's 15 feet away. So even though um, enlarged juice doesn't change my reach, so. Mm. Okay. Saul, you're up. Okay. Uh. Are you running away? He is uh, backed yeah, up. No. He's not necessarily fleeing, but he's like, wait a second, I got long arms. Fuck you, people. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, he, he's also, like, 30 feet away from him. No, yeah, he backed, he backed up. He backed up. Okay. Uh-oh. Is he going to charge, maybe? I'm not uh, telling. Okay. Uh. uh in that case, um... Add another grease. All right. In the block that he was in. Um, I sent something coming. You want it under him or in the block that he was in? Uh, in the block he was in. So, okay, so, that so I, whatever he plans on doing, he is guaranteed to go through it somewhere. Unless he can, um, you know, attack the range. Or like a long jump, maybe. <laughs> Okay. Anything else? Uh, nope. Goodness, Lyriel's up. Ah, yes, of course. Let him come to you. Yes, that's the plan, it seems. And then, uh... Gotcha. Yeah, because I was going center mass on that previous one too. It's just you. Gotcha, gotcha. Control. He was the thing is the first one. He was a little to the side. That's okay. Fine. So I'll take it. I'll take it for a moment then to uh, to uh, top off uh, uh, rhubarb with a healing. Oh, yeah. Sorry, so. Over here. There you go, rhubarb. You're good. Heal that up. How much? 14. 14. 14. Oh, side note, as a um, as a uh, uh, thing for my curse thing, I can remove the curse from myself, but the shield itself is still cursed, and the shield will recurse me if I use it again. Correct. So I can't remove the curse from the item. I know. Joey asked me about that, and and you asked me about that, bun. Yeah. But I, I can't. I can't remove the curse from the shield. I can uncurse that's, myself when I'm not using you know, it, that's, but that's how I, that's how yeah. curse items work. I, I yeah. heard the idea of you can take it off. I don't <laughs> want to. It's very protective. I won a 33 <laughs> armor class. <laughs> 23, close. <laughs> no, it says until you are targeted by the remove curse spell. Yeah, and he knows remove curse. But what he's saying is that if he's still attuned to it, it just will recurse him. It, I've just cursed again. Yeah, yeah you can unattune it, but then put on a normal, a normal shield. Remove curse also <laughs> allows you to remove a cursed object. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. like, 
If he keeps wearing it, then yes, it will recurse. When we're, out, but... when we're in town, I'll be glad to remove the curse from myself because I don't need the shield. But I presently need the shield. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, just, I was pointing out the possibility. That's all. Anyway, um, but that's that's all I'm gonna do now for now is I'm gonna um, I guess like if if the FOMO gets close enough, I guess I'll ready in action to to strike at him, but um as it stands I'm just hunkering down I guess. Okay. Rhubarb, you're up. Okay. Alright, three Because I enjoy this delicious payday bar. Three hyper attacks, twenty-four. How far away is your range? Oh, um. Good point. It's probably twenty sixty, and he is forty-five feet away. Twenty sixty, yeah. So it'd be disadvantage. Correct. It yeah, would allow you. To, you can keep your haste though, or not? Uh, you can keep your rage. So. Yeah. So those first two attacks be at 11. Problem miss. misses. Finally. <laughs> Jeez, Mark, thanks. 10 misses. 15. <laughs> that 15 will hits. hit. Yeah. <laughs> so three, uh, 10 plus four. This is four for rage. And then there's another D4 from a large. I don't know if that works for range, though. Uh, Good. yeah, it's the same yeah, weapon this attack. Okay. There's four, he's, four he's fire and one whatever. He's looking pretty bad. I think I need glasses. <laughs> Anything else? That's it. Six. I'm going to ready an action, and that action is going to be shooting in case he does anything suspicious or oh, charges. I think you he should... He's so well within range of you. Yeah, I think you should just fire. Oh, okay. I'll just shoot him then. So you get two attacks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's... You've got, like, longbow dis uh, distance for your range, which means any yeah. map. <laughs> you, you, there will never be anybody not outside your range. Well, I was kind of curious what he was planning on doing. <laughs> <laughs> he's I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what he's planning on doing if you kill him. So you won't miss that out as a player. He's a phone. Oh, okay. Then I will give him a little bit of freedom. Yeah, 60, sure. 60 240. You're good. <laughs> Eighteen hits. Oh, you're you're just in range. <laughs> about just about like fifty five feet away, so and she could easily yeah. move. Haven't yeah, damaged. Yeah. Do you have like trick, attack? trick shots you, you can do too? Because I have like disarming shots and stuff like oh. that. I took more um like practical ones. Uh, eight twenty nine like, will hit. Useful ones. <laughs> you might like. How to... do you do this? Oh. How do you want to do this? Okay, so I'm going to shoot him, okay? And he's going to grab his chest very dramatically and stumble around and fall over and try to get back up and do like that really cheesy, you know, 80s movie getting yeah. shot and dying thing. And then eventually uh -huh. just slump over. <laughs> As he knocks over vases and stuff. <laughs> and slips on the grease and his pants fall down. <laughs> he goes into this room and you hear a lot of, like, vases shatter. <laughs> a cat, like cat screeches. Oh. You guys ever seen that, like, clip of that, like, cheesy, like, I, it must have been a 70s movie? It's yeah. this dude just, thing. just, yeah, he gets shot. He's like, ah. Red, shot Red again. Media, and it Red Letter Media covered that. Long. Yeah, Red Letter Media covered that, and then they spoofed it with Rich Evans doing the, the forever thing. <laughs> it's probably and then like, somebody... It was probably like a naked gun that did that, too. Uh, yeah, Nor uh, the very start, Norberg uh, basically does an entire, like, five-minute sequence. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's O.J. Simpson. Uh, 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 he's, he's gone. Dead. He's gone now. 
That's good. Okay. <laughs> um, combat over. He had sex with the wife. Because the baby was black. <laughs> what? Wait, what? That was, that, was oh. in, that was in the third movie, and it was the wrong <laughs> delivery room. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> yeah, I think it was the third movie. It was one of the while. sequels. Been a while. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, um, you've, combat is over. Over, 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 over. All right. Uh, what, what was he going to do? Um, probably just use his range stink eye on you. He had no charge ability. Uh, well, anybody that can run can do that. Uh, <laughs> okay. Off, I noticed you was shaking some turds out of his pant legs. <laughs> yeah, the oil eventually dissolves. So to. Reiterate what you see around here. You can now take a look around at this hallway. You've killed the Shriekers, and you've sort of burned away the brush. So you've cleared this level's, uh, this area's, um... He was going to try fighting us, and then he was listening to funk music too loud. <laughs> they just come out like Dr. Lindsay, and... You know, yeah. the so the thing that I'm standing on is it can is there like because it so looks like an island and then a lake and then rivers. Yeah, so is I'll it... explain this. I'll explain this. Okay. That is looking. That is basically an observation dome down to the next level, which is much further down. You maybe descended 20 feet to get here. That looks to be maybe 80 or 100 feet down from where you are right now. Yeah, that's you really looking small. Over, this is sort of a either a, a glass dome or a force field of some sort that is blocking that you you can't get through um and you're able to look at it and you're so what you're seeing is like this heavily vegetated area the garden level pathways there is a uh, obviously this little lake uh thing in the in the middle um looking around you can see that there appear to be these sort of binocular type devices at each of the um vertices on the uh, uh the railing Let's see one of them uh north and south of you here and uh here I'll be honest I was not expecting it to go so smoothly honestly that that fear and that grease kind of really clinched it and I thought I was I thought I was going to kill Rubar but I guess you were doing half damage because of the uh yeah uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, it wasn't magic clubs. What would you like to do? How do we think? How do you think we get down there? We have to do more, do more tasks for that robot thing. Uh, there's probably more tube things like these uh, on some of these rooms, maybe. Or maybe this the... tube thing goes down even further. I will say that you, looking at the tube thing, that you can see that it does go down. There's another iris of a uh, of a green door uh, before you can get down to the next area. We don't have uh... We don't have green, right? I don't think so. Correct. Well, I maybe one of the androids green. will have one. Double check that. There it is. Yes, yeah, so it's green to get down to the next tubes. Is what you see. Going to heavily clunk over with my robotic suit. <laughs> bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> well, I know it's like to be big, right? <laughs> oh, she's adorable. Do you, either of you have a purple or violet uh, key card? Pretty sure one of us does, yeah. Would you like to open up the violet key card? I have card? the purple key card. Okay. This room goes into uh, another room. This room itself is. Oh, that was the right one. Be back in a very quick moment. I'm so sorry. Okay. No, we we'll talk about you behind your back. It's not like we're playing D and D right there. Is. Not like we're playing. Oh my god! <laughs> Observation. Oh, it's it's a uh, Lirials only. You can enter this room. <laughs> Metal alcoves in this workroom uh, appears to contain. 
really what this is? Yes, that's what it is. There is um, metal alcoves in this room uh, contains one combat robot and three worker robots that are just sort of like just sitting in these like cubbied alcoves. Hmm. Do have this device that can control robots, whatever robots are. <laughs> Do they seem to be powered up? Oh, um, make a, uh, make a... Okay, what would this be? Intelligence check, or maybe a nature with disadvantage, because it's the opposite of nature. Whichever you feel, you would do. Intelligence. The normal intelligence, or disadvantage nature. I actually gave myself oh, a lot of intelligence because of uh, all the vegetables I eat. Yeah. Brain food. No, that's fish. 21. 21. Um, they are innate. They do appear to have power in them. From what you can tell from everything else you've seen in the ship. So they are not deactivated. They are just inanimate. Only lasts for one minute, so... I mean, I want to see if I can program it to be a friend, but I don't think my character would know that. Mm -hmm. Let's open up this room. Alright. Maybe there's an extra level in there. A player level. Not quite. Find some experience points laying all over. <laughs> is this the room I think it is? I, I don't know what room you're thinking it is. No. I don't think so. I started that portal <laughs> uh, thing. Let me check. Uh, this looks to be some sort of area that has lots of boxes that look to be like storage. You could maybe consider it to be a cargo area similar to what you'd see on a ship back in. Things that are not science fiction. Um, some of these have been opened in just probably by those two Formidian, from Formidians. Uh, Fomorians? Fomorians. Um, yeah, what are they doing here? I thought they were from the Feywild. Looks like they were rummaging... Uh, looks like they came from the Feywild to space. Mm. Rummaging through these containers, possibly looking for food. Uh, it looks to be there's like a... Uh, food supplies, fertilizers, soil, things like that. It was probably for farming when they got to their destination. Androids. Hello, androids. What's this big purple thing? This big crate. Look, at it. it looks to be uh, uh, this floor area that has um, uh, sort of this yellow and black striping that goes around the perimeter of it. Oh, like a, it's like uh, a make hatch? another intelligence. Make another intelligence check. It is like ten to fifteen feet. Uh, wide. 13. Uh, that's big enough that you're considered, like, as you don't see any pulley mechanisms, but it does look like the center is not attached to the, uh, the area that you're standing on. It could be some sort of elevator or lift. Oh, like the tools. Do I see any controls? I will say that there is, like, a, a little control panel on... Uh, one on where you're standing, and then one on the thing itself. So, like, you know, in a video game, so you don't get stuck somewhere. <laughs> Plenty of controls. Start randomly pressing buttons. Uh, uh, pressing uh, buttons uh, doesn't do anything. Uh, there are no buttons on the control panel. It just has one of those key card things. Oh, is it purple? Yep. Uh, this might take us down, everyone, if we step in here. Hmm. Or something worse, but... What could be worse than that? Um, sure, why not? Let's try it. I'm going to stomp over here. <laughs> plonk, plonk, plonk. As soon as you step on the thing, it just drops. <laughs> All right. Do you use the purple uh, thing? Yes. Okay, Screw the androids, and I... That activates the trash compactor. Oh, and the, the stasis field that freezes us in time. It goes upwards to the ceiling. 
<laughs> does bring you down, so give me a moment to put your guys on the map. Uh, you are going to be over on the right side of this map. Oh, that's plus minus. Beauty. Does go downwards, though? It does go downwards. It goes down 80 feet or so into the next level. Here, players. Gotta see those alien vegetables. Mm -hmm. I gotta see them. This, this area is. Oh, the green doors, though. Yeah, as you come down, you do see that you see green labeled doors on uh, in any of the doors that you can see. Um, you can search the room and see if there's a green key card conveniently in here somewhere. Okay. Um, give me an investigation check. Anybody who wants to look around, give me an investigation check. Ten. Anyone else? Rhubarb seems to have got it. Discussion. Yeah, true. 20. There you go. Okay, you'll look around. This looks to have been maybe some sort of recreation room. There's tables with... Looks like there would have been, like, cards on it or something similar. There's, you know, those weird vending machine-looking things and uh, a couple other things. There's a couple of skeletons in here, however. Uh, we're gonna say the highest, the lowest one will do first. The lowest one finds, roll me a d20, so six, roll me a d20. I'm sorry, d100, d100. We found the lower deck crew. <laughs> d100, go. D100. 22. 22, you find a map of what looks to be a bunch of planets on a star uh, background with a big question mark on it. This would be a map of an unexplored star system. I don't know what that is. Yep. Yeah, what's you a star system? You basically found a trinket. You found a spaceship trinket. Uh, Saul, you find a one of, another one of those on one of the skeletons, one of those um pistol looking things but this one is different you find a paralysis pistol with three charges remaining so you can do what you wish with that i've got a collection of these things we're not going to use well yeah one one thing about these guns is that they're not weapons they are items that do a thing so you don't have to be professional because they're not firearms for the most part Rhubarb with your natural 20, you're like, ugh, green door, green door, green door, skeleton, 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 green card, skeleton, skeleton. <gasps> this skeleton was here on a work visa. No, wait, that's a green key card. You find a green key card, Joey. Ooh. Yeah, you guys picked the right freaking elevator to go down. <laughs> you just have to fight a horrible monster to do it. Yeah, that's probably it. They weren't going to be yeah. coming on out. <laughs> I have a collection of these. A red key card, a green key card, and a purple key card. How many do you guys have? One. One. Oh. Oh. I like this one because it's green. Like, uh, like leaves. Don't like eat it. Oh, like no, 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 what? Oh, I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was spinach. I saw well, you. did I see it, Alfie? Nope, nope, no, totally did. I saw. <laughs> uh, let's try out one of these doors then. Look at this one right here. Alright. Do we 
Do we think we went down far enough where we're on the same level as that, as like the, the greenery? Yeah, I think we did because it looked about 80 to 100 feet down and I feel like we moved about 80 to 100 feet on this weird square thing. I mean, I feel like you'd know what an elevator Let's is. Call but yes. <laughs> I don't, well, I don't know because I have wings. What do I have used for an elevator for? That that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, well, that's fair. It, it's those <laughs> things that uh, that humans use that you point and laugh at. Ha ha ha! Look, <laughs> they're having to use technology. <laughs> uh, this room is nothing of note in this room. Sort of more areas of the cargo area, and uh, just sort of. What about this doorway? This doorway. Uh, also, nothing of interest. Where are you, Greenery? I want to frolic in you. So it does circle around. There's a uh, purple door up the top left. There's an opened archway in the next thing. And then there's a hallway down there. Uh, six, as you Going look into to... this room. You're not going to see too far in because it does go around a bit of a corner, but... Oblong couches, circular tables, and high-backed chairs stop this spacious lounge. An, in an intricate machine rests behind a chrome counter near the wall. Piles of moldy guano speckle the room's surfaces. Bloated vegetal, uh, vegetal bats with green-black veins paddle through the air, feeding on insects. Every so often, a bat emits a noisy, noxious-looking burst of gas. So you just walk in there, and there's every so often, flip, 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 flip. Hey, these yeah. bats look like vegetables. <laughs> I, oh. I don't know what vegetable bats. <laughs> <laughs> but then I smell on them like, oh, 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 oh. pretty much. <laughs> I'm like the the, the fry and um. Is that Brannigan? Snoo snoo. <laughs> it's like <laughs> smile, frown, smile, frown. <laughs> I got, I gotta try one. I gotta eat one. I gotta do it. All right, you gonna try and grab one? Yes, I'm gonna. I'll rage if I need to. <laughs> okay, uh, let me uh, grab this. Just fixing something up real quick. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Um, if you want to go up to the near one near you, go ahead and uh, I guess make a grapple. Okay. Using new rules or old rules? Old rules. So it's oh, now you want to use your well, I'm asking. The strength or strength uh, athletics check, sorry. Athletics, okay. Because they are tiny flying bats, I'm going to give them advantage on their roll, but they're also pretty shit, so. It says I have advantage, but I think that's for something else. From a raging 21. It rolled a natural 20, but only got a 17. So you win. <laughs> you grab the nearby gas bat. Like, in your hand. Yeah, I look at it, and um, it's like, uh, oh, this thing's alive, though. Mm. It does ethical, look like a vegetable. Ethical it question. Look like... It looks like a vegetable, but it's flying around with little bat wings. Um, it's kind of weird. This... Adventure has had two similarities with with the Pharaoh one so far. It has flying vegetables or fruits. True. And, and it had a, a room full of doppelgangers that tried to, to separate the party. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't very creative ones. They had to reuse a bunch of stuff back yeah. in the day, I guess. Um, I'm going to look at it. Like, do I think this thing is an animal or a vegetable? Make a nature check with disadvantage. Okay. I'm gonna say I wouldn't say you have advantage because you know what vegetables are, but you have no idea what the hell space vegetables are. Uh, eight. I mean, you know, 
vegetables were alive at some point, and they are des- and like fruit are designed to be eaten because you want to pass the seeds around. Yeah, Who cares I, if this yeah. thing's alive? You have no idea. It's, just it's a, it's a circle of light, and I shrug huh. and I and I take a big bite. Right. Okay. I, vegetables are usually still alive when you eat them. There. Yes. Um. Okay. Uh. Make a. Yeah, okay, you're just gonna basically just do an unarmed strike with your teeth and just basically do, you know, what's your strength score? My strength is a plus four. Okay, you do uh, five damage to it, which is four more than you need, and it dies as you bite oh. the head off the, ba- the, the bat like a vegetarian Ozzy Osbourne. Um, I need you to make a constitution saving throw, and I need... Uh, Is this against poison? Yeah. It's against both poison and disease, so yes. And um, six, you're going to also have to take uh, one but because you're at the doorway, but I'll give you advantage on your constitution saving throw. Okay. I'll roll out advantage. Darn. I g- oh, yeah, my suit's not powered, so it's not sealed. <laughs> uh, 17. Yeah. 17. Uh, okay, you pass. Uh, six. You do get advantage anyway, so. Uh, 27. You guys, you guys are fine. I'm going to say that Lyriel and Saul are far enough away around the corner. Um, well, that's not ideal. Hey, uh, it is a saver suck, so nothing happens as the gas bat vegetable explodes in your mouth and just big burst in 20 foot uh, uh, 20 foot radius uh, uh, gushers uh, yeah, that was the yeah. lever explosion it's the gushers commercial yes <laughs> <laughs> um, how's it taste like a burrito oh like a vegetable burrito mm, confusing well, I mean, uh, so there's this place here in Utah called Taco Time. They have the actual best veggie burritos. You all want to try one? It's not half bad. I'll pass. I'm an obligate nope. carnivore. No one? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you look around the room and there's a bunch of bats those same the same sort of vegetable bats flying all around. Oh. Stomach starts to gurgle. Oh. You have food already. Oh. I will I will say, Joey, that the um the uh the type of the, the creature type is plant. Okay, yeah. Rhubarb have, has had tasted of the alien plant. Well, I'm sure there's more in the garden area. You can check that off my bucket closer. list. Next to marrying a turnip. You heard me. Marrying a turnip? <laughs> it, it, it's just a thing with him. Just nod your head. Weird motivation. So I can hey, put down my burying a turnip and put down my roots. Yeah, so how about that purple door there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, do any of you have a purple key? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You have the purple key. Oh yeah, it looks like Rubar <laughs> saving the day again. Part <laughs> <laughs> like the the bats. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, excuse me. He just walks, he waddles up to the door, he's like, Burr! <laughs> Yeah, this looks to be a long hallway that extends uh, along the, the wall that you had seen in the other room uh, to the north, and there is a green door to the south.
Ah, uh, this hallway seems safer. I think it might lead into the uh, the greenery. Greetings! Oh, you said oh, it. I, I smack him. Ah! I did not like that. Please refrain. Oh, sorry. You startled me. I thought you were, uh... Don't care. I don't care what your reasons were. At all. Yeah. I see that you have decided to come right down here and skip the last level. Yeah, we didn't like your quest. They were boring and dumb. There were more androids up there. Eh, yeah, we don't But really all care. the androids we've met so far suck. There, there were better ones. We, we have too many of... of these things anyway, holding up the barrels You missed, barrels as you missed, there's a bar up there, a lounge, there's, uh, the, the gym, there's the arcade and the dance arena, you missed all of that, but I'm not one to tell you where to go, if you'd like to proceed, feel free, I will warn you, however, little strong here. Are you saying we like... have to do your quest to get stronger? No, 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 but I'm saying, this is me, I will come in here as a DM. I will say that because you you are supposed to level up when you reach the third, the garden level, you did almost nothing on the upper level. It is a much smaller level, and I'm not going to force you to do it, but I'm not going to let you level, level up until we are done tonight. And that okay. means you are technically a level down. So let's explore the higher level just a little bit. It is up to you. Yeah, might as well. I'm all for finishing oh, I mean, the floor. It was like a very small floor anyway, because it was just the yeah. alcove around the... I figured this was like, yeah. when you reach a level, you level up. Yeah, it's... it's it's the, it, You pretty much level up here, and when you're done with the adventure. So there's only like one level up during the adventure. Well, that's the way like so. Pharaoh was. It doesn't matter how much you explore the the temple. Yeah. Like, if you, if you go to a higher floor, it's like, you level up. Yep. But you pick the one thing that has the green right where you were looking for no action. You didn't even have to roll an investigation check and just say, hey, look, some skeletons. So you picked the right way to come down. Yeah, so let's uh, <laughs> store the top floor a little bit. Okay. Okay. You win round thing. Well, when you're ready here, I have more errands for you all. More. You hear that? I have more errands. <laughs> more errands. Oh boy, Aye. but it involves fetching things and maybe an escort. Tell me why we're exploring this place. Didn't we have some place to be? Like, it was cool at first, but now we're just doing chores for some crazy, crazy, crazy circle. But remember, no. when you finish the chores, you get to see all the space vegetables. Oh, I know. <laughs> I guess we can clean, uh, clean up the vines like they asked. All right. What would you like? You are on the right side of the map. Let's try. Go. Let's try this. One. That is unfortunately a boring Geiger counter room. It is radiation. There's nothing of interest in there. Uh, there could be something of interest if you want to roll for something. Actually, let's do that. Roll me a. Uh... It was the giant's bathroom. That's why it's radiated. <laughs> Give me a. Uh... I was only four on here. Give me a. Yeah, I think you've done most of these things, so never mind. It's just radiated. With an R. Nothing but radiation. Mm -hmm. Explored That's so it. explored so much they're repeating themselves. <laughs> There's apparently like a lot more empty rooms in the original adventure. Yeah. Well, I heard they added like entire floors. They might have. And like some of the other adventures, I know they added more stuff to fill it out. This one seems full enough. Actually, hey, no. Actually, I, I think, one think one in this one, one they removed removed floors because it used to be like remove floors to yeah yeah it used to be like really tall. And, you know, not it was this mostly like just like monsters and stuff. Um, they condensed okay. condensed it a little bit. Where would you like to go next? We'll skip this room. So you do see the um, you do see the uh, the observation thing that you just passed by. Oh yeah, I did want to look at that, see what it was. Fig figured. Oh, oh uh, that is. Yep. Yeah. 
Here you go later, Al. <laughs> um, to do, do, where's, uh, so many things. Because I had to open up a different map, because you guys decided to skip a level using the secret whistle. Um, an autolone device is mounted is mounted into a flexible tube near the scenic overlook. Look, it features two eye holes fitted with lenses, a forehead rest, and a pair of handles. It's basically your very stereotypical sightseeing, uh, like New York City, uh, look over the bay type. You know those kind of things. This this thing is like two spy glasses. Do you know how expensive these are? The power of two. <laughs> no. <laughs> Does anybody look through? Oh yeah, I'm gonna look down there. Okay. Yeah, you can see um, a lot of stuff. Uh, you see various all the pathways, close-ups of a lot of the uh, vegetation. Some of the vegetation looks like it could be alive uh, and animated. Uh, make a perception check. Enough. I'm looking um, through one too. 21. You both, you both see this. Then uh, there is looking at the lake. There's a dark, large dark shadow that you see moving along, along it. Something under the water, but you're not sure what. It never surfaces. You want to get a preview of the vegetables, rhubarb? You <laughs> can see him with this thing. Give me, give me, give me. Let me look. Yeah, just zooms down the yeah. hole. Show me the best ones. Where should I look? Roll oh, me a yeah. D twelve, Joey. You want to turn Lariel? No, I'm not interested. I don't like looking at things. Three. Three. Oh, can you see that one? We'll keep going the next one. Um. I'm gonna say you are looking at a carrot. A single carrot. You see a, a, a large room on the far side of this with a it's a menagerie overgrown with vegetation. Bare fence posts spark intermittently with electrical arcs. She don't quite know what's inside of it. It's a lot of vegetation large overbrush. I think you see, might see some other movement in there, but you can't quite tell. The sparking uh, fences do catch your eye, usually. Something electric down there. Like, where on the map is that? Uh, it's on the far side. It's under the left area. Uh, so it's around around over here, like on the inside of this area. Okay. Can I look what's in the middle here? Um, actually, I'm sorry, that one's actually down here. Uh, you actually couldn't see it from, from naturally here, but it would be what you are essentially seeing that fences is down to the bottom left. Uh, in the center, it looks to be uh, like this island with a little tiny movement on it, and like a large sort of uh, uh, walkway that might go into even lower level and sort of a walled off area in the middle. It looks like that's our something nice. That's our uh, destination if we want to get lower into this uh, so-called spaceship. I still don't believe that. I don't think this thing has ever been to space. Hey, Lyriel, it looks like there's some big creature down there. Oh, oh, well, it's a... What? Yeah, it was, like, under the water. <laughs> Couldn't really make out what it was, but... I see this beast. Go ahead, make yes. a perception check, Lyriel. Yes, what am I looking at? Oh, now you're eyes. Eyes. I'm going to, like, describe... Roughly the area I saw it in. Okay. Oh, it, it's a the lake area. is a big area, the so water. I will. <laughs> I get you. I'll I'll lower the DC a little. It doesn't matter. Roll the ten. You see lots of water. Wow. Boy, as a cat person, you love water, don't you? Wow. 
<laughs> I'm a lion. I actually like water. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking to me like I'm some kind of tabaxi? Racist. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you like to do? Wow, the water is interesting. Guess a step away. <laughs> okay. Don't we have more shriekers to kill? Mayhaps. You look over at the uh, the brush to your left. You don't see any shriekers in it. Somebody play some funk music very loud. Not exactly a bark. <laughs> so we're supposed to clean up this uh, fungal growth. If so. This is actually a large, ten foot tall sort of thing. It's no longer like a small thing. This is very invasive and very tall. Uh, anybody who is looking at it can make a nature check. Rebarb, you can make one with advantage. Nineteen. Three. Nineteen. Rhubarb, you're, this looks very similar to what you would identify as razor vine. It's very, very, very sharp. Burn it. Hmm. So don't get close. Well, let's see. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Let's see if it's uh, if it's fireproof or not. Uh, and Chuck's in quote unquote alchemist fire uh, firebolt uh, in, into yeah. the uh, uh, the briars. You have enough time and effort to be able to clear that entirely off without touching it. So you are good. That's yeah. the second area, second growth done. Oh, well, this will be easier than I expected. No, no hidden shambling mound. Not in this one. Oh, jinx it. <laughs> I'm gonna check the room right above us while he's um clearing the brush. Okay. This is the room. Oh, hey, androids. This workout area features exercise machines, free weights, and a conveyor belt like a conveyor belt like running apparatus. Uh, there's two synthetic humanoids in athletic attire, uh, and they appear to be training in a weightlifting area. One effortlessly, effortlessly bench presses a bar loaded with heavy plates, while another acts as its spotter. How ripped do they look? Uh, no more ripped than the other androids you saw because they are not made of muscle. That doesn't look so hard. Ah, ah, ah. Don't tell, talk to him while he is doing his reps. He will drop it and it will hurt. I was going to say, does he get surprised and he drops it over his neck? <laughs> he does not. <laughs> You need to exercise, then you exercise, ex ex exer exercise, and they both sort of kind of like get up, oh. and um, they just start like saying like a bunch of random things, like you know, uh, weightlifting, uh, medicine ball, uh, Sick games. weightlifting again. <laughs> Sick and, uh, games. Yeah, this sort of like messing around, and then they um, start to pick up. Like they take one of the uh, the weights off the end of the um, the thing, and they're like, "Time to work up a sweat. Let's see him hustle." And he throws it at you, rhubarb. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, let me uh, get the stat out. <laughs> Is there one of those stupid alarms like at Planet Fitness? 
that I could go push? I'm gonna oh, say there yeah. is one. Like <laughs> it's 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 a long, like the back north wall, like straight north of you. We've met the robotic version of Arnold the Pitbull. <laughs> Does a ten hit Joey? Uh, no. You dodge out of the way, and then I need everybody to. Well, actually, give me a moment because I need to fix up the actual thing. And then we will click the clack the roll for attack. Everyone's yeah. okay with going a little later, right? Yeah, Fine. I think that's cool. I, I only do like one or two more rooms. Um, I just didn't want you all to skip everything. Well, it's almost 11, so I asked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Put this back. Oh, you're going to make me rage for this. You're going to make me Don't sit on my butt and do nothing. All right, just get it. Clickety clackety, roll for attackity. <laughs> You're Man. kidding! Dealing with robotic gym bros. <laughs> 24. Uh, 19. Saul, initiative, please. You there, Vaughn? Guess not. Somebody roll me a d20. Fun. I'll roll the d20. Oh, there he goes. 22. You know... Oh, okay. natural 20. Waste it. <laughs> well, no, he did. he rolled it, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he got yeah it. I did. Still wasted. Six, you are up first as these things start hurling gym equipment and heavy weights towards all of you guys. They're just being jerks. I heard about Joey's these. They're, they're known as jocks. <laughs> You'd call them jocks. I'd call them fair Not competition. Pieces. Okay, I don't have time for these guys. I'm gonna, gonna shoot. Fan the hammer. I'm gonna do better than that. I'm gonna shoot my um, pistol at one of them. Okay. The one who hasn't thrown a weight. Yeah, I'm shooting the one that did throw the weight. Okay. Uh, we'll say that's uh, B, the one north. Okay. Uh, 19 will hit. Fourteen damage, owie. Owie, zowie. So I'm going to twirl and holster that pistol, take out another pistol, and shoot it again. Twenty-four will hit. She's like a tiny, adorable Millie from Trigun. Yeah. <laughs> Eight. Eight damage. It's two. And then I'm going to repeat that and then take out my pepper box and shoot that other, or the same one again. I mean, I have to click it to equip it. There. Um, alright, so you've equipped it, uh, the pepper box did 19 for 8 damage. Alright. Sorry, I was, I was trying to, I was reading something, trying to find some information, but we're good. Is he still, like, alive? Yeah, he's still, he's still pretty good. action some... surge. Okay, go for it. Yeah, you just want to kill this mofo. Like they started, they threw they threw a freaking weight at my my <laughs> dwarf friend here. So I'm gonna take out my um other gun, the blunderbuss, and then shoot with that. Okay. 
Just pull so that anyway, gun after gun after gun. Uh, uh, Derringer Melly, or Derringer <laughs> Merrill. Set 18 will hit. Ooh, 14 damage. Nice. And then I'm gonna take out the laser pistol and shoot with that twice. <laughs> Okie doke. Are you able to switch weapons as well, Oh uh, Yeah, it's a free flourish okay. to um, still and draw. Okay. I guess that's like the point of, your, point of your class. Yeah. Natural 20 will hit. Yeah, with the laser pistol. Please roll crit damage. Oh, wait, sorry. Do you mean to... I, I think you I think it rolled crit damage for you because it did four. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Five. Yeah. Roll, no, roll a stack. Roll, roll three d six. Roll another three d six. Yeah, those are laser pistols are crazy. Yeah. To be honest, you should just be using those. <laughs> Did it roll? And then it was thirteen. No, I mean with the additional three d six. Oh, I um did that on the thing. Let's see it come through. Yeah, you rolled the normal damage. Did you roll another? Yeah, I rolled the three d six with the um chat log. Uh, it was a five, six, and a two. Five, six, and a two, which is also thirteen, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you just rolled thirteen a second time. Cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, yeah, it didn't. It didn't pop through. So. Oh, sorry. That's and good. Then, uh, is he still up. He is. He's looking really bad. Okay, Pretty I'm bad. Shoot him again. Pretty bad. Fifteen. Just hits. Leaves some for the rest of us. One. T oh, he is. He is barely standing. He is on one leg, so to speak. Darn. So to speak. Wink, wink, wink. I wanted to intimidate his friend into <laughs> stopping attacking. <laughs> <laughs> um, roll intimidation check just to see. This will be, you know, we're just doing it passively, so it's okay. not an action or anything. But if, other than that, if you have movement, uh, you do that and install. Not will very be intimidating. <laughs> they, they appear to be malfunctioning and are are not like, this is not bravado. Oh darn. Yeah, there. You need weights uh, to exercise. Here, have weights. <laughs> Sal, oh, you're up. Oh, okay. I, was, I thought she was still doing stuff. Um, I'm just going to throw a jar of bees at them, uh, which shatters, and uh, they just start stinging at them with the power, with power of magic missiles. Um, uh, one of them will go for the one that's on its last leg. Okay. To, uh, uh, three damage. Three damage. For that one. How do you how do you want to do this? Uh, just, I, I'm assuming that the uh, the gunshot ends up causing like uh, physical damage to its exoskeleton, and the bee just flies inside and starts stinging something that uh, just makes a little pop and maybe explosion. It's no, like spider. good workout, thumbs up, and just falls over straight with his thumb so outstretched, his arm so outstretched, but he is he is no more. Yeah. Uh, it, it's three in total, right? Uh, uh, yeah, three. So here's the other two for the other one. All right. Nine, Nine damage. You remember your um, right. poisoner's kit? Po uh, not poisoner's kit, the elemental oh, that's right. additional damage. Is that in total or for each one? Because that's a plus four. What does the elemental thing say? What does it say? Um, I was just looking at it. It's... Um, whenever you use a spell uh, using your alchemical supplies as a cast and a spell focus, you gain a plus four bonus. Uh, oh, to one roll of the spell. Yep. So, yep. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, so it would be thirteen damage. Another four on this guy. Then. Cool. Okay. Yeah. 
Yep, that's correct. All right. Anything else? Uh, nope. Should be good. Ruby Barb, you're up. Ruby, Ruby Barb Wells. Uh, well, I will pull out my little robot controller and uh, it will boop as I press it, and I will try to uh, control the remaining one. So use a wisdom saving throw. Fifteen. Okay. Oh, oh, you were st uh, almost, it almost landed on a, a 15 total, but it landed on a 13 total. It has failed. 13. So uh, it is now basically under my control for one minute. All right. What do you tell it to do? Um, I say, uh, keep working, keep, keep repping those gains. Will do. And he starts to lift, do, uh, you know, a couple of lifts on the thing, and then eventually, um, without the spotter, he accidentally drops it, and he is now pinned underneath. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's no longer on my control. Um, That's why I pinned him, because you're yeah. like, hey, just do a thing for a minute while we look around. <laughs> yeah, let's do a quick look around. And open this purple door. Right. You're doing great. I actually didn't have the purple door in my notes, so I had to go put that in there while you guys were combating. That thing you're doing, keep doing it. Uh, please help me. Um, yeah, we'll get we'll get right on it. Thank you. He just waits patiently. Uh, so in the right room, the storage thing. Uh, it's a storage facility for maintenance. It contains inert cleaning compounds, towels, weightlifting equipment, whatnot. There is a skeleton on the floor. I examine the skeleton. It looks like it's clutching a diary, or a book of some sort. I should say. It looks more personal than like a you know something more. Uh, oh, I shouldn't. I, I, I shouldn't so, look, yeah. but I just can't resist. I'll take a look at it. Okay. Uh, do you read foreign languages from space? Um, maybe. Hold on. <laughs> do you base? It's basically an unknown language. Do you have comprehend languages or something similar? Yes. Or the ability to read all writing that you can get from the warlock. Yeah, because me, a warlock. <laughs> um, I do I've have... I've got it as a ritual uh, if you want. I have comprehend languages. Yeah, you could do that. But it's for spoken languages. Oh, wait, you also understand any written language you can see. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you if I can read something from not this planet. You literally can, yeah. Okay. Uh, so if you'd like to cast that, how long does it take to cast? Uh, I think it's an action, yeah. It is just one action? Okay. Lasts for an hour. Yep. I'll say that in the other room, you see that it is a foul-smelling room lined with lockers containing rotten garments. Standard locker room, then. You just uh, just stare at it. That's that's what you see. Um, all right, you cast uh, comprehend languages. The diary skimming through it gives a first-hand account of the mission of the ship, which is basically to be an ark uh, to to go to another uh, planet to colonize it. A lot of these words, even with comprehend languages, don't make much too much sense to you. You get the gist of things. Um, it then starts to talk about. Uh, this is from the perspective of a maintenance worker. Then it's the last page of the... Uh... Oh, no, it starts to begin to talk about the mission uh, after the mission. talks about an outbreak of mold across the ship. Mm -hmm. Checks out. Very mm -hmm. suddenly. Very suddenly. Um, on the last page of the diary, the worker noted their doubts about the loyalty of the ship's machines. Oh. And the skeleton also carries a violet key card. Now I have two. So there's a vile keycard hidden in a vile keycard. That room. 
Essentially, well, I mean, the, the idea is that he went died in there to hide or just died in there, and that's how he got in. I will relate this to everyone. I'll hand, um, Six, do you have a key card yet? Do you want one? Uh, no. Yeah, oh. I'll take one. Then I can be cool like I grant out. you this cool card I found on a dead person. Thank you. I will cherish it for the duration of being in this place. <laughs> um, yeah, I found a diary. They're talking about mold, and uh, they think the machines might be crazy. You know what I think? Hey. Do, you, do you think that means our round little friend, too? I don't just believe it. I know it for a fact. I am still waiting for help over here. I'm sorry, but none of us are designated spotters. Yeah. Uh, oh, we're yeah. Not certified. Yeah, we're not there. Uh, we don't have authorization to uh to help you. Sorry. I wouldn't want this place to lose its license. In fact, uh, we our membership is um expired. We better get out of here before uh before the security guards come, droids come. That's good. They might help me. Uh, I will also say that looking at the door to the right in that room, uh, it does um, have, like, a, a label on it that says Arena, and you can read that. Oh, if... tempting. We'll put a pin on that. Put a pin on door. Literally, okay. literally put a pin. Nope. 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 All right, and uh, we'll do maybe one more room, and uh... we'll call it after that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it has been about three hours. Yeah. Right. I'll just like we're not gonna go through the whole room. I just want to end on a cliffhanger. Yeah. Oh, there's a cliff in the room. It's Got it. Well, there might have been there might have been a cliff in the other room, but everybody's like, eh, I don't like that room. We'll go to this purple ones. Well, if it's got the name like Arena, it's going to take a while. <laughs> and Lir Lirial's going to have too much fun in there. Mm. Oh, yeah, just getting beat up for a while. It's always good to get the blood flowing. It's another sort yeah, of who needs that when we've got a closet? Entryway to the, uh... The unknown. Uh, whatever There's another, another set, set of robots... Uh, in alcoves in here that are, again, as Rubark, and you can tell that they are inert, but not, not deactivated. Do these count as androids in rooms? Reading the uh, signs on the wall, it says these are not androids. Oh. They're just resting. <laughs> You're sleeping. Oh, that's You're another sleepy. room. You're sleepy. Double doors. All right, you Dumbledore this. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hello? It's dudes. Oh, this is... It's Giffy's. In this, We're not gonna uh, run. this is basically another... <laughs> There's not going to be any Get the Yankee in this room open store. <laughs> oh, darn. Oh, <laughs> My wife's not going to be in this room. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> um, here, uh, as you open up this room, uh, there's several Githyanki in here. Uh, creatures you've never seen before. Uh, humanoid, green skin. They all look like Lizelle. Um, no, it's hot. I almost, said, I almost thought you were going to say lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> they look like lasagna. Oh, they look like lasagna. Look, look away, Lirial. <laughs> <laughs> and there's actually a I miscounted the thing there's actually a fifth one in here he's, he's in the other room there are five yeah there's a fifth warrior oh one of them is a knight but the, this one over here is the uh okay slightly different I am the knight <laughs> they all kind of like turn to look at you as you open the door what were they doing? They were looking through some of the cargo in here, and they all kind of stand up. Are you androids? Mm. 
<laughs> funny you should ask that. Oh, yeah, very funny. <laughs> yeah, that's where we're going to end it. I don't get it. Me neither. We're just going on with it. <laughs> <laughs> What did they, what was the punchline? Tune in next time. <laughs> Honestly, if you went into the other room, you probably would have found a punchline. Was that the um, is that the uh, yeah the artwork of the artwork of the boxing robots? Is that what? That oh what yeah. yeah, yeah. I kind of want to do that. I'll, I'll I will show that off because Joey know has has spoiled it, but <laughs> the the art That's of that is, is really cool. I mean, I was I was trying to get you guys going it, but you're like, ah, I don't want to go in that room. Whatever. <laughs> Look what happens. Look what happens. You miss all the fun. Stuff. Missed out. It turns oh, out that there was FOMO all along, <laughs> not just the giants. We were the FOMO. <laughs> <laughs>